We're now killing Guido. Everyone gang up death on Guido. Death, no. death, death, okay. death, Aim for death. the earring. Aim for the earring. <laughs> that might work. But then again, it might just enrage him. Put him into hardcore mode. Wait, wait. Careful there. <laughs> Crack lens. <laughs> right, I should close the door because you're going to hear me for some reason. Echo, echo, echo. Death to the Guido. Death, 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 death. Hey, if you knew what I was talking to him about, you would not be deathing him. Oh, we were teasing. We were aiming for the earring. Why? Oh. What's wrong with his earring? It's really cool. I don't know. It was Magus's idea. Or was it Marshall's? I said aim for the earring because we were talking about Marshall's. killing him. <laughs> it uh. was Magus's idea to kill him. And I was the only one with a weapon. They're killing you and they're aiming for your earring. Okay. We're My question is, what's, what sort of uh, modifier does the bacon give you? It, it's a plus 7 to damage, but a negative 12 to hit. Okay. Because, you know, your hands are all greasy. Yeah, so you're like, right. but when you do hit, it's BAM! But it's okay, because yeah. I use spells. Oh, and that so affects spells, too. You suddenly have a chance to miss for the first time. Ah. It's plus 7 to damage and negative 12 to hit. No, we were discussing your Christmas present, sweetheart. Oh. Uh, what? See, now she's not going to kill you anymore. <laughs> See, you have to work Christmas through these rest. things. Whoosh! Yeah, she's the only one with the res, so... <laughs> I was in there I doing dishes, and I was like, oh, I bacon. know! The bacon resurrection, honey. I resurrected you with bacon. Good job. You now taste delicious. <laughs> Unfortunately. Well. Now, your next boss is... The hell? It's a flower. Oh. Ow, 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 the ow, next ow. thing you'll be fighting is a ravenous uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> it is perma aggro to anything that smells of bacon. That's not funny. I got eaten by one of those Crap. before. I smell of bacon. Because I've been eating it. <laughs> it's okay. Guido smells stronger of bacon because he was rezzed with the power of bacon. That's so true. I just have to run and faster than Guido. Yes. And throw bacon at Snark. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> <laughs> and Snark just like, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, you're, and you have a negative 20 to your awareness because of the bacon. So you d don't even notice the T-Rex. It's like right there. I'll run faster. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, hey, I, don't know what, I don't know about you. I can run faster than all you fools. So just keep throwing bacon. Anyways, we've been recording for the last Hi, minutes. guys! Um, I've rezzed Guido with the power of bacon, and then he immediately died by getting consumed by a T-Rex, followed by Snarg, who was so distracted by the bacon that he died. Yes. There was a little bit of an in-between session since last time. This is um, <laughs> this is actually our attempt to get an infomercial out to you guys about the 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 dangers the awesome of bacon. Power of no, bacon. the dangers of bacon. Oh. Dangerous. Oh yeah, bad, bacon is very bad. dangerous. Very much so. On that's, the bright side, the T Rex <laughs> is having an overdose of. Uh, that's true. Which means I managed to get away. What's, Fat, grease. What's vitamin steel? What? Oh, because he ate Guido. Um, iron. He's got an overdose of iron. Yes, yeah, yes, an overdose yeah. of iron. There we go. He's he's <laughs> choking. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, the T. So Guido dies and Snarg dies. However, Z gets tons of X for killing the the T Rex. And Guido. And Guido and Snarg. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when out of nowhere the the nightmare of the Pinnacle shows up and says, "You have done well. I have been watching you all this time." And then Madness shows up and says, <laughs> thank you. And then leaves. And then leaves. It starts raining bacon. So, as you may or may not be aware, you guys just entered combat in initiative. Hold on, I need to get the dice. Which means you are screwed. So screwed. So freaking screwed. Um, so, now, uh, first thing that happens... His Z goes last because, <laughs> duh. The go diamond golem raises one of its gargantuan fists, and this arc of energy leaps out of it into the four chests. What? And he says, "Reactivate, former servants of the master." And the four <laughs> chests. He's just kidding. The four <laughs> chests immediately start reforming themselves into the ruby, em the flaming ruby, flaming emerald, flaming. Sapphire and they're all flaming. Golems. I thought they were ice. Well, it's basically they're molten. I actually described this briefly earlier. 
So they're just... And uh, then it decides to use its first... I'm just going to go down the list. So That should have used its turn. It should totally have used its turn. Making them get up. So Ricard is like... Wait, you guys are in combat, so he's just waiting there for you guys to get out of combat so he can do something. <laughs> and uh, it will go ahead and... I, I guess we'll be nice. It won't have an additional thing. However, everyone can roll an int check. Okay. Be nice to me, dice. I don't want to die. Okay, Straight in, no bad. bonus. Straight in. That's right. Well, you get your that D4. would be a 21. Think, right? Yeah, Guido gets his d4. Yeah. Yes. Oh! Wow, okay. I got a 23. 22. What'd you get, Guido? 23. Wow, everyone got it. Okay. Everyone, all three of you. you know all of this. Actually, hang on. Yeah, Funasil gets it too. So, all four of you immediately recognize, based on what just happened, it is very likely that the go diamond golem is now attached or tied to the four uh, previous golems in some way. And I'm just going to break character for a moment and tell you that you basically have two... Well, the way this works is anytime you take down one of the lesser golems, it will be absorbed into the diamond golem, healing the diamond golem to full and giving the diamond golem its abilities. Which means no more chest of 40,000k. Now, the tactic here, tactics I should say, uh, should be obvious. You have the choice of trying to bulldoze through the diamond golem, which will probably deactivate the others. Uh, you have the choice of trying to take down the lessers, which will decrease the amount of hits you're taking per round, because you notice each one of them has a, a turn per round. And even though the Diamond Golem will be getting stronger, each one you take down, it will still only have one action per round. Oh, so it doesn't actually get the multiple actions? Not in this case, because I want you to at least have a chance to survive. Okay. I did some projection uh, runs of how this worked if I was doing the other boss method. We don't live to round two. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh. that's it. <laughs> and then it was like, alright, now everyone beats on Guido. Bah, 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 there's the 20. <laughs> so, to be nice, we'll say that was its primary action. However, it's not its only action. <laughs> it's a move. Yes. And it has decided to go for Snarg. No! Come on, come on, come on. So it's bearing down on you, Snarg, getting ready to beat the crap out of you. That makes it... Run away! Uh, Run away! That makes it the Ruby Golem's turn. Hang on a second. Um, oh, that would be so mean. I'm going to do it. So the Ruby Golem smashes its hands together and surrounds itself with a giant shield of flame. And then it begins channeling in the direction Wait, of... What color is the flame? Green flame! <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it targets Fear and a Seal and starts, like, pointing at her. Nothing actually happens yet, though. Fear and a Seal, run away! Run away! Uh, that brings it to Sapphire's turn. Zoop. Sapphire will... Hmm. Next time I decide to bring along the chests that are worth 40,000 gold that used to be golems, tell me no! Uh, all four of you... you know a lot of times, but you didn't listen. All three of you, I should say, <laughs> get to make reflex checks. Uh-oh. Okay. Fear and Steel fails hers. I fail mine. I rolled a one. I fail mine. I rolled a one. Oh my <laughs> god! Guido! In your colossal plate armor, the giant. Curl away! 19. Normally I'd ask if you want to blow an AP on this, but you don't. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you probably want to save that. Yeah. Now, all four of you take four water damage. Which is not oh. significant. What it does is he throws these four water bombs at all four of you. Uh, do they stick to us? Uh, yes, you now, all four of you, have a debuff. All right. Four. This debuff uh, makes it so that your movement speed is now halved. And if... Uh, well, let's just say that if he uses another ability, you will actually be frozen. If When you are frozen, you're obviously stunned and can't move until you're broken out. And you take damage every round until you're broken out. At least tell Perfect. me that he can't mass AOE us with that one. What, his freeze? Yes. Uh, his freeze will be centered on him. So all he has to do is move up Stay and away! he can hit all four of you. Stay away! Right. Is this a number of rounds or is this a... 
Uh, you're just until the end of combat. Right. And just Snarg. as an FI, I'm not marking my down my health because I have F SR5. So. Okay. Uh, Snarg, for the moment, you may oh, consider crap, this yeah. terrain watery. Okay. And it is your turn. <laughs> for the moment, All right. consider it watery because you have to die water. Well, goes. this seems pretty... Let's see, is there, are there any geomancer abilities that would be very useful during water? Watery, aquatic... Lenses? Maybe. Well, I can just do. It. He just has a you know, he Oh, to. actually, there is a water. No. Oh, that would suck. Okay, I'm not doing that. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Oh. No, that would actually really suck. Okay, never mind. Don't do that. Um. <laughs> this is all buff the other guys too. <laughs> all right, no, I ain't said. Um, um, I'm going to activate ascension. All right, describe it. Okay. <laughs> see if you recall correct. Hmm? I was gonna say, see if you remember how I described it to you visually. Well, if I recall correctly, um, essentially it looks like Snarg burns from the inside out, but his bone, but with the exception of his bones, that look like they're all charred and stuff still remaining. Mm -hmm. Essentially, it looks like he's a, a hollow uh, burned semi-skeleton. Mm -hmm. Basically. Mm -hmm. With burning eyes. Yes. Like little furnaces. And I'm not sure if that took up my action or not. No. Okay. That is a uh, free action. Okay. Notate it. So you remember <clears throat> next time. Okay. In that case, let's link real quick. Um... Do we want to try to take Phoenix was like, oh my god! Are you oh, okay? Did it hurt? What did the god. diamond gods no. do? We're all gonna like, die. No. I said, I'm gonna try to take down this golem right here. The diamond? That's one! That one? Yes. The diamond golem. One That's actually me. a good point. You guys probably want to decide your strategy <laughs> before you. Yeah. Uh, I'm going for I was gonna ask, yeah. We die. Well, Phoenix is asking, you know, who, what do you want me to concentrate on? I'm all for kill it before we die. Those two are over there, and I'm next to this purple stuff. Maybe they can't follow me. <laughs> so we want to focus on the diamond? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, our, our AOE is kind of meh, so yeah. we'd still be focused firing the small ones. Yeah, while well, trying to get hit, and we don't have any live. Right. So kill it before we die. You guys have no healers and no tanks. Yep. Hey, 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 I operate fairly decently as a tank, even though I'm not supposed to. <laughs> get squished every time. So, I have more health now. Alright, and I am going to go ahead and choose the fire ability right here. I'm not going to use it, but... Okay. Hmm. We'll go ahead and do a combo healing and uh, damage thing. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> Which would be... Ah, that's perfect. Uh, Breath of Fire. What's that one do? It makes it uh, so that Capcom stops making your series after a while because they suck. <laughs> uh, what happens is it does a cone of fire, and any enemies are burned for a bit, and any friendlies are healed for a bit that they're in it. Okay. So. I should so, call that Alex Strauss's fire. You're going to make <laughs> us get in front of the golem. Yep. Come, well, here's, come here, Z! Come <laughs> on over here! It's fun! <laughs> no, no. What's wrong with you? Why are you bones and ash and... <laughs> and then you just hear this like little whisper in the back of her head going, Oh god, what if I look like that? <laughs> Snarg, right. are you a desolate? You didn't tell us? No, no, no. No, she would know. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm just going to go full round on this diamond golem. Alright. And I'm going to max out my power attack. Okay. Uh, okay. What's, uh, how much DR do you pierce? I pierce 2DR. Okay, and your Atlan is still doing fire, correct? Yes. Okay. Alright. So, let's see. First one will be... This is when we see how much uh, AC this thing has. Okay. First one's a 23 to hit. Uh, no? Okay. No. Second one is A. Second one is a 27. Uh, that will hit. Okay. 
I had to roll really high to get that, so better not DR <laughs> or uh, power attack this. <laughs> All right. So. Hmm. Would Doom work on a golem? No. If you'll notice, Doom actually has a specific note. It has a working. note that says, does not work on undead targets nor other specific exceptions that will be mentioned as needed. That's why I asked. So, yeah, that will not work on these. I'm sorry. Would I know it wouldn't work? Oh, yeah. Okay. You'd be like, uh, no. Okay. It's a total of uh, 59 fire, and that's including the bonus ascension die. All right. Whoosh. You feel as though only some of your attack gets through. Standard DR descriptor here. Okay. And I'm done. <laughs> we do. <clears throat> Can I demoralize so, a golem? I think I already asked you that. Yes, you have. On the fire, on the, um, excuse me, on the earth boss, the emerald one. Oh, yeah. So what's up, Guido? I'm assuming um, these things are not evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, they are not. Figures. Oh. And they're not undead. No. no. All right, so that's useless. Um, Suddenly the Lich King shows up and is like, <laughs> with Frostmourne, and they're all undead now. <laughs> and evil. At least I'd be able to do something bonus. <laughs> 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 um, so I'll take a five-foot step. All right. There. Um, oh, okay. No. Uh oh. He's not going to do it. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is move to there. So I'm flanking. Okay. What's the opposite of diamond? Actually, hold on. Is there an opposite of diamond? You can make that with your halved move, but um, you're gonna you're gonna provoke an oppie. Um, uh, I currently have a move of forty. So oh, you do? Uh, yeah. Never mind. Then yeah, you, you're you're good. You're good. Sorry. I thought you were thirty for some reason. <clears throat> uh, I've got the special thing. Uh, oh, the that's bracelet right. of move. That's right. Okay. So yeah, you're good. That okay. I made yeah. him put on because he's. <laughs> we move, like putting he... that on. <laughs> we all oh, knew. Manuka's I... collar. Yeah, Manuka's collar. Did I register that I switched my belt back? Yes, I did. Okay. So yeah, he's flanked, which will help. Okay. Um, so two attacks. Yar. Oh God! It probably has SR. Twenty-seven. 27 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, that'll definitely okay. hit with its uh, uh -huh. flinging. Oh, natural 20. Nice. Hey. Very good. That'll hit. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, and Venom Ring? Uh, that actually does not affect the diamond column. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. This yeah, is... we're all like going through our gear going, uh... <laughs> <laughs> So this, this, this is the big leagues here. This is oh, the first oh, oh, thing oh. you fought. That's I had damage serious. reduction. DR2, so I didn't take that. No, water damage. Was spell damage. It was spell oh. damage. It was spell damage. If you have SR, you would have taken nothing or less. He has SR. You mean he? No, it's in a weird setup. You're right here, sis. Mm -hmm. He's right there. Guido's right here. And Where are I'm, you? I'm right here. I'm the, um, I'm the upper left of the of the four. Oh, so you're. I don't. Look my to brain your right. Body. Look to your right. That's not your right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's up. That's also <laughs> wrong. Anyway, so you nail this sucker. Um, yeah. Go ahead and tell me what you hit him with. That was two attacks, right? Yeah, two attacks. Um, so twenty nine for the first hit. Uh, do you need damage for the critical? Yeah. Okay. I mean, unless you don't want to crit. And just well, you hit him. and you get to describe it. <laughs> you definitely get to describe it. Okay. Um, so, 14. Uh, 28 for the second hit, then. 
And so for the critical, the first hit, I just uh, smack him. And then the second hit, coming back like a backhanded uh, baseball swing <laughs> and just right into the shin. Nice. So there's, there's this, and ch- a little bit of diamond dust just goes. <laughs> and then reforms um, at the goal. And this is the living weapon. Yeah. If it matters. It actually does. We'll go uh, oh, and two uh, piercing. Two piercing. For right, each so... hit. Okay. So he's actually at this much health. At one. Yes, he's a, yes the diamond golem has been hit twice and is at one health. How would you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, our good friend Topaz cackles maniacally. Which is a standard action. Which is a yes. standard. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, While you're thinking, quick note, Zan, not having bacon on the nachos, but we are having homemade guacamole. Ooh, she I hates don't like guacamole. avocado. I can't do I avocado. It. it messes with my textury thing. So I'm not mm. jealous, but Magus is. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll go ahead and have him do lightning rod, which targets Guido. Yay! 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 I'm hiding behind the wall that isn't there. Guido, you are now a lightning rod. And Topaz <laughs> is going to move. So what does the spell actually do? He's already a metal thing. Hockey metal man. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Oh, hey, buddy. And uh, he's going to do his attack, which is actually a lightning arc. Uh, which will, of course, target whoever has the lightning rod and bounce to anyone within 15 feet of that person. Great. So, so now I, I still have to do a touch attack for this. So what's your touch, AC? 18. All right. So if it doesn't hit Guido? Oh, it actually hit him. Damn. <laughs> I what mean, happens that's, if it doesn't hit him? If it doesn't hit him, then it just bounces to the other person and hits them. How can it bounce to the other person if it doesn't hit him? Because it, like, arcs around them and then goes to the other person. But that doesn't make any sense. Because screw you, that's why. Um, you take, you both take uh, eight uh, air damage, mind it, you know, before oh. any SR. No damage. What the hell is your SR? Five from the necklace and plus five from ascension. Ten. Oh, God, nice. <clears throat> okay, um, so that's Topaz's turn. Now it's Emerald's turn. Now he is going to do this fun ability. <laughs> uh, he is going to smash the ground, and chunks of doom are going to appear under everyone. You may all do a reflex if you want to get out from it. Uh, Only if you want to. Ow, 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 Only ow, if ow, you ow, want ow, to. Ow, ow, ow. Chunks of doom. I think I want to get out. Chunks of doom. Roll a one. I again. did not roll a one. I got a ten. Total? Guido? 23. Okay, Guido's fine. He can move wherever, five foot. Uh, Fear and Seal World's a one. Now those sp- de- spots now have like earth, like a constant earthquake happening on them uh, while well, you're just sitting there. And uh, you do take a small amount of damage. Is it physical or smashy spells? This stuff? would be magical, my dear. Oh. You all, uh, so you three take four earthen damage. Or you could be snarg and take none. Yeah. Um, uh, wait, do I actually take? No, you're fine, good. You you dodged out of the way. Okay. Okay. You you hit double tap. Um, <laughs> uh, double you, jump. You three, or rather Z and uh, Snarg, you now have a status effect. Another one. Yes, or rather, well, yeah, this is another one. Uh, this one has. Uh, yeah, basically, like a, a chunks of earth are now swirling around you. Great, I have an earthy shell that's going to smash me in the face. And it'll do something after some time passes, or some, or it's removed. I sh- it won't do anything if it's removed, but it'll do something after some time passes, or it interacts with something else, which makes it. Uh, and emerald is also going to move consequently. Oh, yeah, he can totally reach you. No. <laughs> Uh, that makes it Fear Seal's turn. Fear Seal, of course, immediately you know, takes damage because she's in the thing, so she takes another two damage. 
here. And then she gets the hell out of that thing. Uh, and, and she mentally twigs. She's like, we're still in the diamond plan, right? Yes! Yes! Smash! <laughs> okay, okay. Yes! Doom! Should I, should I bring out uh, water or fire or earth? Uh, it's getting fire. hit by fire. <laughs> but Stars, least... fire! We can try that first! Fire. Okay. So she you know it works. The double <laughs> swords out of thin air and these massive pl plumes of flame. Axes. No, Maybe she should also move out of that. Oh. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, she, she moves up there, and she's like, all right. And she rolls a one. She still, and you know what? I'm just going to be nice. She loses her second attack because she rolled a one. Uh, isn't she flanking? Yeah, but she rolled a one. Yeah, but is doesn't that give her advantage? Yeah. Doesn't that mean you roll twice? No. <laughs> okay. That's fifth edition. I was I was hoping. That's fifth know. edition. No, no, Actually, I get I get it. I got you. <laughs> but, but So anyways, um My camera is still just swirling down there. Z? It's I'm now moving. your turn. <laughs> you take damage. I get the beginning of your turn. You take one earth damage. Um Can I hit the golem, the diamondy one from here? Yeah. It's like forty feet. Not physically, but yeah. If you actually, if you I really threw really hard, you can toss your pearl at him and lose whatever <laughs> benefits it gives you. Brilliant. Must, must be capital Z. <laughs> Fantastic idea. Um. Just reminded that scene just. You know, the... just for shits and giggles, <laughs> to test it, even though it hasn't worked thus far. Oh, this is worrisome. Well, I'm not down enough health to really make what I'm getting ready to do on drain make any sense. So we are going to bio level seven maximized. Okay. Uh, no. Do I want to maximize? Do I want to intensify? It's a good question. What's the total I get out of maximizing? Um, seven times uh, eight, which is yeah. That's why I something. asked. Forty-nine. Thank For you. Forty-nine. Yeah. Wait. Wait, no, no, it's not right. No, that's not right. right. It's in the 60 um, range. I was, doing it, I was doing it the wrong way. Uh, Freaking 56. Yeah, 56. God. So you flat get 56, and it has to make a fort save, which it's probably got to make. Or uh, you can try doubling it. Control, roll one. We're going to double it. It could roll a one. We're going to yes. intensify. It would literally have to roll a one to fail this, but I've rolled two ones so far, so... We're going to intensify, yes, but all on fear and a seal. Okay. Use a different set of dice <laughs> for fear and a seal. Okay, okay, hang on. I... Uh, or, yeah, yeah, use a different set of dice <sighs> for fear and a seal. Okay, so... Now, stop confusing me. I need to think. My math has to be engaged. That's 14 go, go get plus... It, yeah. Shut up. Whatever it is. <laughs> 22. <laughs> That reminds yeah. me, um, as I've been re-editing some of those episodes, I have been telling some of you wrong mana values. <laughs> that is my fault. Uh, this is a while ago. You know, this is back when you were still doing the show missions for the drug ring thing. Um, but at, but I was talking with Guido recently, which was helping me reestablish mana cost. And the number 17. in the mana chart for maximize cost is the total cost, not the cost 19. you add to the mana cost. Oh, okay. So a maximized seven medium would just be eighteen. Eighteen flat. So that is my bad, and I freely admit it, even though that happened months ago. So it's not ago. twenty-two. It is eighteen mana. Okay. But I intensified, so I did two maximum costs. Oh, that is true. Uh, so that w shoot, that actually throws it's me. Give me a second. It's twenty. It's twenty. Eighteen plus four is twenty. And now I've lost... 18 plus 4 is 22. That's what I said. That, that's what I meant. It takes me to 80. Gotcha. And now I've lost track of all of my dice. Thank you. I'm sorry. Six. It was all part of my plan from 12. the beginning. She's going to roll better this time and, and do more damage. Probably. 24. 32. There you go. 38. 46. 46 and... Wait, no. 46 is, is the number I go to. 46 times 2. 
Okay, yeah, that is that was a good decision then. Yes, what is 46 well times 2? 90... Uh, 2. 92. Minus it's... Smash! Now, sis, you may roll Spellcraft. Which means knowledge Spellcraft? Yes, I do. <laughs> spellcraft is not a knowledge. That would be a 33. Very good. You can tell, um, as the spell blasts into it, that this creature has a fairly large amount of spell resistance. More than you've ever seen before. Shit! <laughs> and when I say that, I mean that literally. You have never oh, wait, actually... I just added my stuff in my jigs. Oh, well, I've already figured out the SR, so go ahead and well, do that. Well, you need to add nine... Mm -hmm. And... 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 Shut up. Oh, man. Uh... What do I have that's a daily? Nothing. So why do I have a refulgent bracelet if equipped and attuned only requires four hours to... Oh, never mind. Uh, nine and six. I need to add 15. Okay. That's easier. Um, so to get back to my flavorness, you have never in all your travels encountered something that has as much resistance to magic as this does. Oh, gee. Thanks. Then again, in fairness, Snarg and Guido, I can say the same with physical endurance. A.K. you've never seen something that has this much DR either. Nice. So, that makes it the actual Diamond Golem's turn. He is going to do a whirlwind attack. To hit all three of you. Are we level eight? Yes. Yes. Oh, I only have seven levels in Black Mage. That's the problem. Yeah, you took Like, uh, Why do I keep casting things at level seven? <laughs> uh, does a 37 hit all of you? I no, totally misses. Like, not even close. No. Holy... Wait. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. Guido isn't flanked. Guido isn't No, flanked. he's not. I am. <laughs> Damn! All right, so he hits Snarg and Fear to Seal. What am I just getting hit by? You didn't get hit for anything. Oh, okay. I like not getting hit. Uh, For... 18 uh, physical damage. Just plunk. Across the face. Plunk. Okay. <laughs> That's the sound it makes when it hits you, too. Funa Seal is like, ow! Because she has taken more damage than anyone so far. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's, just, it's just funny. I haven't all notated Funa Seal's health on here. I'm still showing her at 80 of 80. Oh, my bad. Sorry, I haven't been keeping track. So it's 30. I am also showing Guido at 104 of 104. Guido, have you got smashed oh. with anything? Sorry, I was keeping track of it on my sheet, not on the... Uh, I'll fix that. So she is at 43 of 80 now. Oh. Ow, okay. Yeah, she's ah! been clobbered a couple times. Um, Wrong one, Guido. Other one, Guido. <laughs> you can do it, Guido. Well, the anyways, left one, okay. not the right um, one. So now that makes it Ruby's turn. Now Ruby, what did he do last time? Ruby, Ruby made a uh, made himself flaming. Ah, yes, and now he's focusing on uh, Z. No! Hey. No! He can't hit me through the wall. He can't see me. There's a wall. So anyways, he hits you through the wall. <laughs> After he spent the entire previous round focusing on you and channeling on you. He wasn't focusing on me. He was focusing on Fear and a Seal. Oh, I'm sorry. He's looking at Fear and a Seal. He spends the entire round focusing on Fear and a Seal. Now this fiery jet of flame is coming out of his hand and hitting her and will now do damage every round on her turn and his turn. So she immediately takes... Uh, well, it's increasing damage, so the first bit will only be four. Uh... And that makes it Sapphire's turn. Now, I know what he did first. Naturally, the first thing he's going to do is he's going to try to freeze some people. 40. Uh, he decides to go after Z. Oh, shit. And he's going to do an attack that you may do a reflex to dodge or be frozen. My reflex is... You need to, like, lower these against me. I only have three reflex. That's a 15. Uh, that actually will make it. So, oh, sweet! You, so you take some partial damage, which is two uh, water damage. You may dodge five feet in one direction or another. Ah. You should go south. Back into the stuff? <laughs> yes. Hit the dirt. No, not... <laughs> <laughs> too literal, too yes. literal. 
and that makes it uh, Snarg's turn. Snarg, you yeah. immediately take damage. Hell! Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Snarg, you immediately take damage. Um, I'm sandwiched between one, two, three golems right now. Hang on. <laughs> um, we do first is going to five foot step diagonally up <laughs> out of the way of that. Oh yeah. And can you like multiple flank things? No, there's just the flanking bonus. Which is good, because otherwise these things would just pile around Guido and reduce his AC more and more. <laughs> yeah, I think there's technically feats, but whatever. There um, are. Do you want me to heal Fear and Seal? Fear and Seal's like, just kill it! it. Just okay. kill it! I I'm going to power attack four. I will heal myself! Power attack four. <laughs> Full round on Mr. Diamond. Okay. So... Now, he is still flanked one way or the other. Mm -hmm. So you may actually hit him. So you may actually hit him. That's reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> no, he hit him last time. First attack. Time. No. Guess I, that missed last time. Second attack. Oh, hopefully that hits. 30. That, that hits, yeah. Okay. Only because she's flanking. No, I'm kidding. All right. No, not bad. And in plus lots of math. I... I just realized that I did something wrong last time. I apologize. What? You're doing fire damage, so its yes. DR didn't account. Now, it actually has the same SR as DR, so it doesn't actually change the math, but I should have described that differently, so I apologize. Okay. So Guido is the one who is like, damn, this thing is just tough. Yeah, that's weird. Oh. Almost 50, as tough as I. That's fifty-five. All right, so it's fire and and my dice is running away from me. That's fire and my dice is running away. Yep. yep. Did you catch it? I did. Good. All right. Are your blue dice treating you better today? Uh, I've rolled two ones so far in my both my reflex saves. So. <laughs> Guido. It's turn. okay. You haven't got hit by any of the stuff that was. And when, in I, was, your and when I was rolling, and when I was rolling that last one, it like listed on a twenty, and then it fell over. So that wasn't, but it was still okay. Got a fourteen anyway. So no. twenty-four to hit on the first. Uh, um. By the way, he is affected by the distracting attack. So for the next one, attack on him, he will have flanking, even if you're not technically flanking. Yeah, I, I was just debating the flanking the situation. I'll go and give you flanking, so that will hit. Yeah. Okay. And then that goes away once he hits. And that's not going to hit. Okay. Oh, yeah. so. But the first so. hit does hit. By the way, Magus, no. have you noticed a loud noise coming from below us at night? Occasionally, yeah. Is it what I think it is? Do you I, think it is what I think it is? I don't know. I think I know what it is. <laughs> I oh. actually don't know. No. Is it repetitive? Oh, you're thinking it's that. Yes. I have no idea. I haven't thought about it. Guido, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, 32 with the two piercing. Okay. <laughs> Math. I should just have a calculator up and make this easier on me. Okay, so that's... And let me just double check. Do I need to move? Um, it's up to you. Next, Topaz gets to go, which I'm very looking forward to. Because, well, I'll say so in a moment. Now, how many, uh, how many of you guys have that earthen shield on it? I know Fearness Seal does. I think Snarg and Z do. No, Snarg. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Can I blink out of mine? Uh, well, anyway, so it's not your turn at the moment. So... Air, by which I mean Topaz, immediately rushes the entire room with a massive whirlwind of doom, which will last for eh, one round, so this round only. Uh, anybody who has those earth shield things is immune to this effect. Oh, okay, good. Uh, <laughs> so, Guido. Yeah. <laughs> um... 
Did you reflank yourself, Guido? I'm actually trying to think of how to... Okay, you may... We'll go ahead and be nice. You may have a... Uh... No, I guess we won't be nice. So, okay, here's how this works, Guido. <laughs> In order to perform any physical action, uh, you require a acrobatics roll to succeed at it. <laughs> For one round. For but one you round. You already did your round. So. Well, it, it'll count till the next Topaz's round, so it's oh. one full. So his next round, he has to do an acrobatics check to do his stuff. And then he's going to do another lightning attack on Guido, which needs to hit an hey, 18. that's two thingies. Which, fit, it, he misses, so... But he still hits Snar because screw you. He also hits Fearness Seal. So Fearness Seal takes some air damage. Yeah. And uh, Emerald's turn. Now Emerald already did that. So now the next thing he's going to do. He runs away. No. I'm debating if he wants to, to incapacitate one of you or make himself invincible. Invincible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not him. Zzz, I don't know. <laughs> All right. So the the golem uh, solidifies itself considerably, and it starts to grow spikes of solid uh, frozen emerald all out of it, which increases its damage done by a significant amount. Oops. But also makes it so that it basically cannot take damage for one round. <laughs> Damn it! Not that it matters. Uh, and then it's going to sit there because it just did its move. Mosey on up here. And then smash its narg. Stop. Why do they keep getting extra moves? Because screw you. I, they really don't. But, uh, snarg, you are considered flanked for the purposes of this. Oh, okay. So what is your AC? Never mind. I rolled a 20. No, right. no crit. No crit. Now, oh right, he's buffed, so we'll actually do it this way. We'll just add another dice to the mix. Okay. Um, 30 physical damage. Oh. All right, reduce to 25. Just punches you and, and just spikes. Make just kinda, say. I don't know. Import range. Import range, okay. Uh, I'm trying to do something clever. Just continue. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not starting. Fearness Seal. Fearness Seal's like, Arr! okay, I need to hit this thing. I need to hit this thing that hard. So she's going to make a full on swing, which is three attacks. Uh, that one misses. Wait, he's. No, it's flanking. It doesn't matter. Um, that one will hit. That one will hit. So two of those attacks get through. And she gets to add her. Oh, whatever. So it's going to be plus six. Wait, I, I got to do the DR on this. That's right. So, actually, this would be SR. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So, I get to add the thing with the R's. So she slices at this sucker with two of her swings. Well, with three of them, she just narrowly misses hitting Guido. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Guido. Guido. Not, not Guido. <laughs> Guido. Sorry, Guido. Solo. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Mr. Diamondy there, mm, he's no, it's not my actually... turn. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. It's my turn. Okay, I want to... Wait. What do you Does want to do? Does rock stuff hurt me when it comes off? When it's gone? No, but if you step in it, yes. No, rock stuff of swirly shell. It's gone. Earthy swirl shell. Oh, it's gone? You expended it, preventing okay. yourself from getting hit by the air attack. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine then. Uh, I'd like to blink away, please, to... um up here all right now i've actually already described this but i'll i imagine wait, in the wait. moment it, it doesn't work does it yeah it literally doesn't work at all how far can i run uh 36 squares is that counting my haft no it's not that's right uh you can move uh three squares so i can move to nine yeah uh, that's where we're going okay run away from the golem run away okay uh we ran away we're gonna dump some mana again okay uh, same amount which was 22 which is 50 or yeah 58 you doing another empowered doom and by empowered i mean intensified yes we are <laughs> intensified doom um but uh and by are we doom, doing I mean 
Are we doing doom or? Uh, You're not can really I, hurt. Can I heal fear and a seal with my drain? No. I know. I'm just kidding. Uh, well, That'd be funny like though. One. I'm gonna heal the group, guys. Don't worry. I'm a shadow priest. <laughs> five, five. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a shadow priest in BC, where it was actually useful. Yeah. Man of hey, batteries. five health at our current health level would be useful. <laughs> okay, so one, one, one. <laughs> that one. would still be useful. The golems are like thirty, 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 thirty. Okay. Sorry. Here we go. Six. Seven. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-three. Twenty-five. We don't ask Eric out of 104 health. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's 50, Magus. Oh, there's an effects column. Uh, yeah. After... I rolled one eight and a bunch of twos. Fifty damage plus sixteen. So sixty six. Sixty. Put your headphones in. Put your headphones in faster. Now, sixty six with my plus stuff. In the interest of fairness, he does have a chance to fail this. Fail. If, if he rolls a one. Fail. fail. Wait, fail what? Did you do bio? Oh, yes. So he has a chance. To, he has to roll a one to fail that fort save. Okay. But he did not. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, now it's Diamond's turn. Now, that ironically pushed him into phase two. Mm. Well. So first thing he does is he claps his hands together, which makes this horrendous sound. <laughs> and a little bit of the essence of all four of the uh, golems seeps into him. Oh, joy. And so the <laughs> first thing he's going to do is uh, automatically, on his round, everyone nearby him just flat takes air damage. Uh, and by nearby, I mean within 30, so... 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't hit Z! Oh, thank God. Just by 5. By nearby, um, I mean 30 feet away. <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm using the wrong dice. Here we go. Okay, so everyone takes uh, 13 air yeah. damage. Except me. Error. <laughs> Guido, your uh, I'm, your I'm health is now it. error. <laughs> I know. I'm. I got Guido's it. So health much is <laughs> He's glitched out. <laughs> um, and then he's gonna take a swing. Not at Fairnessil. Oh no, he's going after Snarg. Snarg's actually done the most damage so far. Has he really? Yeah. Does a thirty-four hit you? Yes. All right. In the face. Oh, right, it's Loading. empowered now. <laughs> Refresh! What are you doing? 21 <laughs> physical damage. Before okay. anything. Used to 16. Fear to seal! Fear to seal, you might want to heal! Guido's what? being weird and Snarg is nearly dead and so are you! Hang on, I can't, I can't hear what you're saying with all the pain I'm in for being nearly dead. What do you want me to do? Heal! <laughs> oh. She screams it out loud. I'll heal you, Z, don't worry! Not me! You! <laughs> dumb, dumb! Error. <laughs> I am error. Um, okay, so Faya, by which I mean Ruby, uh, he did that, he did... Oh, right, so uh, I'm, I actually forgot about this. Fear Seal automatically takes uh, seven damage, just for... Just for existing. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, the fire is still channeling that thing on her. Does it go away? Uh, no, but it does increase the damage uh, she takes, so now she takes that plus that every round. Fear to seal! Heal yourself! Can I knowledge spellcraft her? I mean, spellcraft her? For what purpose? <laughs> that's the channely thingy that's on her to tell how much damage she's taking. Every round, it, it does a d8 to start, right? Yes. Now it's doing a d8 plus a d4. Next round it'll do a d8 plus a d4 plus a d6. Then it'll do a d8 plus a d4 plus a d6 plus a d10. Then it'll do a d8 plus a d4 plus a d6 plus a d10 plus a d12. Then it'll do a d6 plus a d4 plus a d12 plus a d20. Get out of the line of sight of that dumb goal! Line of sight? Okay. Do you want me to risk an oppie? Does it have reach? Kill yourself first! The diamond does? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's no way then. Yeah, there, there's Unless actually, she tumbles out of the way. Yeah, she could, she could try an acrobatics roll. 
Um, it's not her turn anyways, it's Ruby's turn. But he is he is getting rid of his turns to get rid of her, basically. Yeah. Which is succeeding. One more round, and she will actually be gone. Uh, that makes it... Stark! He oh. opened the seal! Okay, so he already did that, and he already did that. So now it's time to pick a random player. Yay! Yay. All Not right. Seal. Dun, 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 dun. That will be fear in a seal. Uh, no, it won't. Why not? Because we, I said not fear in a seal before you rolled it. You said pick a random player. Fear in a seal is not a player. That is true. So we're going to use a d6 then. In order to determine <laughs> yes! I successfully technically... The... So it's going to target Z. Okay. <laughs> I am better with that than it targeting fear in a seal. I have a way to heal myself. Give me a will save. Uh, that one. I rolled a natural 20. All right, congrats. Um, you're fine. The main effect does not hit you, however the secondary effect hits anyways. Ironically, you're a perfect character for this, because anyone within 30 feet of you, which includes Fear Seal and Guido right now. No, it um, doesn't. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. It did the problem. Um, anybody within 30 feet of you automatically takes uh, water damage on their turn, and if they happen to already be water... Uh, you know, infused with that other debuff, they get frozen. Fear and a seal does, but not Guido. Yes. Snarg! Maybe this is, I bet, the fire thing of channel. Right. Uh, you know, I may need some healing. I'm going to try to save Fear and a seal. <laughs> you can do it, Snarg. You should, All right. yeah. Five foot stud up, and okay. a breath of fire cone all over the diamond golem, Guido, and Fear and a seal. Okay. So you just respect us. Sparkos blast. And all this ash and fire and soot and heat and sparks. How far does that cone go? Thirty, I believe. It is twenty. Oh, it's twenty. So yeah, it's yeah. definitely not going to hit you. Thirty wouldn't hit you anyways. Yeah, no, it wouldn't. So doing the damage first. Did you just pick up all of your dice and roll them? No. Well, I took all my d6s and my stuff to do more. <laughs> yeah. Should do eight d6. Mm -hmm. I actually think I have that many D6s. I do, but only because I got that D6 pack. Wow. I do because well, I randomly um, left them. 24 fire damage to it. Alright. So. And now here's the healing. Four, I'm guessing this does not include me. 8. I have no, 10 not. D6. Nice. So. We need to find a chandelier I can knock down. I have a lot of dice. <laughs> Suddenly, a chandelier of pure diamond appears over the diamond golem. And twenty-seven that does healing not seem to like a good idea. Fear and a seal. How much was the healing? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay. And Guido. Yes. Guido. Hey, you have health again. Mm. Up twenty-sevens. Okay, so that makes it uh, Guido's turn. Actually. Ah. Uh, I'm guessing I can't actually go over. No. Why not? <laughs> I, I get the point. The formula isn't tracking the max of 104. 104, excuse me. So, Guido. So, uh, Snarg, you need healing? Uh, I could use some, because the goblin's probably going to smack me again. <laughs> okay. And Fairness Deal needs healing, yes? Yes. Yes. I'm... I would rather it hop to those two. No, I imagine he's doing two heals because he's got that one thing. That oh. cast wise. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm getting ready to heal myself for a bunch. If needed. Depending on what the Sapphire Golem does. Or Emerald or Topaz or whatever the heck color it is that's chasing me. Come, oh wait, come, it already went this round. Come. Yes, it did. It good. decided to randomly target someone. Which me? is you, actually. <laughs> well, <laughs> sort of. So, wait a minute. How low are you guys? Um, uh, 39 out of 96. Alright. So I will do two level 6 heals. Okay. I've got good news. The pain med kicked in. I can walk again. Yay. Yay. Now I need my pain med to kick in. And then Guido's pain med. And then, wait. We don't need pain meds. 
Everybody needs pay pants. <laughs> Walk up to Jenna. Hey, Jenna. And, uh, she'll be like, yay! I More don't even know what medicine is! Yes. <laughs> she'll just be doing it cartwheels. It tastes like rape! <laughs> Yum! Nice. I hmm. thought I had more D4s in here. Okay. I have two I can roll for you. Don't trust her. Her D4s are terrible. Uh, no, I don't roll my D4s. They might not be. That's true. It was a one. I rest <laughs> my case. Let's see what my other one does. Excuse me. That should be... Where's the funky flavor? Shape. Thing. Oh, fine. Just come out. It was a four. So you're averaging a two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here, we'll try again. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have gone with the level six that was heal. Seven. Uh -oh. uh, Snarg, I heal you for 90. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Hang on. That's not possible. Unless you have major boosts to your healing. A level 6 heal would be a 6 times 66s. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 6 66s. Which is times 36. Level. No, no, no. <laughs> the 6 uh, wait a minute. is the spell level. Cure is a d6. You are casting a level 6 cure, so it's 6 d6s. Which is a, a max of 36. Right. Okay. So, Snarg, you're healed for 36. Yeah, I can, I can go ahead and wave that, because you obviously rolled really nicely. <laughs> uh, unless, um, you, unless you want to up the spell level. 36 is going to be... That'll put him at yeah, 75. I, yeah, that's a pretty good heal. Yeah. Fear seal could use a heal like that. <laughs> okay, so... What are you fixing? You're the only one with the keyboard that goes clackety clack, besides me. I was highlighting the three and the nine over and over and over again. Debating if he was, in fact, going to be hit for it. Yes. Uh, so 23 for Fearness Heal, then. All right. So I did get 36 back. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thirty-six. Boom. You, you. It. He rolled all sixes. Now that makes it. Uh, well, okay. You're gonna do a five foot step. Why would he do a five foot step? He's flanking. He could go for the diagonal if he really wanted to. It's up to him. I mean, well, if. What would be the purpose of going for the diagonal? I can't think of anyone unless you know more abilities that the bosses do. So what you're saying is you should go for a diagonal. Because he gave you a big giant hint right there. I'm, I'm kidding. There's, there's actually not really much reason to do so. Now not if you want nice to take a five foot stick this way, that's great. Because then Z will start getting hit by the chain lightning. Or you could just stay where you are. No. Okay. Um, well, yeah. that makes it... I'm just going to stay where I am. His turn. So the very first thing that happens is we see if Chain Lightning hits everyone. Um, and I need to hit an 18, which that does. So... It doesn't hit me. I'm not in range. No, it doesn't hit you. But everyone else gets hit for 6 air. Uh, yeah, that's right. No, that's not right. Yeah, I was right. And... <laughs> then my sister yawns. Hmm, well, he could do his big nuke. He hasn't done that yet. We are in phase two. So Snark gets hit for nothing because he's in flames. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think instead of his big nuke, he will do... Nah, screw it. He'll do his big nuke on Snark. Oh. This is a touch. <laughs> What's your touch, AC? Never mind. That probably hits it. He probably has to roll one. Well, what's your touch, AC? 18. Yeah, he totally gets the hell out of that. Um, okay, so his big nuke is exactly what it sounds like. He commits suffix.
46 air damage before anything. Okay. It's literally Smash just this monster. massive spike of lightning just goes right into you. Oof! And, um... He then will... it bounces to Guido. Guys, I start no, smoking. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> smoking more than previously. Actually, no. He'll go ahead and go here. There we go. <laughs> Snark. <laughs> Enjoying being sandwiched. Uh, Emerald's turn. <laughs> I could be a total... No, no, I'll, I think I will do this just because it'll let Star get an attack of opportunity. So go ahead and roll it. Okay. Uh, I did power attack last time, so I'm at my normal attack. Uh, in the 30s. 30. 30. 30s will hit. Now, oh, here's okay. the funny part. Here's what actually happens. Remember Emerald... Um, I guess it, that actually doesn't affect her anymore. Damn! Because Emerald put on that super buff, but it only lasted for one round, so it's fallen now. So I was going to be like, you hit it for nothing. <laughs> what, what actually happens is Emerald like liquefies itself and moves up in between the two golems to reform on the other side here, because they can do that. Okay. So it's oh. now there. And you get your oppie as it's going over you. Stab, stab, stab! I'm not even sure I should write this down, but whatever. Alright. And this is fire damage. Seven. Yes, it is. 45. Okay, so 45 to Emmy up here. And having done his that ability, now he, of course, is going to do his big nuke. And he's going to um. randomly target his. Two, three, four. Which targets Stark. <laughs> this is a touch attack, but he does not roll a one. So his big nuke, you know, I'm just gonna use it. No, no, I'll be, I'll be true to word. So hang on. Three ones in a row so far. <laughs> um, See, these are actually the digits. Doing, uh, just like one. While you're figuring that, uh, Robin Williams died today. What? Wait, what? How? What happened? Uh, suicide by asphyxia. Mm. No comment. Uh, apparently he's been battling depression and killed himself. Wow. Stark, you take uh, 29 earth damage before anything. I rolled a ton of ones. I kept rolling ones after that. <laughs> so Fierna Seal's turn. Now the very first thing that happens, she takes some damage. Again. Again. Uh, so the first thing that happens is she takes nine fire damage. Oops. Second thing that happens is she gets frozen in a block of ice and can no longer act. And because she's frozen in a block of ice, she takes ten damage from that. And the, the fire's still hitting her, by the way. It's not breaking her out? Not yet. Uh, Z, your turn. Um, again. <laughs> 22 mana. 22, which would put me at 36. I don't have many more of these left in me! I don't have much life left in me! <laughs> Venus says, <laughs> Alright, here we go. Be nice to me, dice. We need to kill it soon. I'm running out of mana. Four. Seven. Eleven. I need more than that. Fourteen. Thank you, that's slightly better. Nineteen. That was worse. Twenty-one. Twenty-four. Forty-eight. Plus sixteen. You're the one that designed the stupid dice! <laughs> you have designed what? dice. <laughs> yes, I designed all dice. I went back 3,000 years, or 4,000 years, or whatever. Uh, so that puts him at this much. Okay. I assume you took your 22 mod off. Yes, I did. That's how I ended up at 36. That's why I don't have much left. I should. I need a health to mana converter. <laughs> now you need to roll him. in case. Dark pact. <laughs> 
Oh, right, for the fortitude save. No, sorry. Can I, can I like, roll your dice for you? No. What would be the fun in that? Okay, so... I um, roll much worse than you do. So everyone nearby takes some lightning damage. Except me. Except you. Uh, which is six this time. Wait, am I still putting off lightning damage? You're putting off frost damage, my dear. Oh. Oh, is... wait, I forgot to move. <laughs> yes, I say, if you want to move, now would be a good How many feet do I get to move? Fifteen. Three, three squares. Uh, not control Z. So now you're not hitting Fear Seal anymore. <laughs> um, actually, speaking of which, the damage would have been done on your round, actually. So Fear Seal takes... You already took it off. You took it off at the beginning of my round. Oh, well so then, it was at 36. Well then, no, I just took that off for what the Golem just did. The Golem just did six damage to everyone. The Diamond Golem. Uh, so Fear Seal will take four because I rolled less than six. And Guido will also take four here. Um, okay, Diamond's turn. Now, he's already got that, but he's... Well, actually, uh, so Z just pushed him into phase three. Well, at least I pushed him into phase three. So now, in addition to doing lightning damage attack. at the beginning of each round, he's also going to be doing earth damage each round. Am I still out of range? You are still out of range. Here's the weird thing about the earth damage. The earth damage is minuscule. In fact, it actually does no damage at all. What it does is it forces you to do a fortitude check. If you fail the fortitude check, you lose your next round. Oh, okay. Roll it up. Uh, Fairness Seal auto fails. But I am out of range, right? Let me double check that. Yes. Okay. 32. The field is I like am... here to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like backed against the wall going. <laughs> and lightning is shooting out and now there's this. Anyways, what did you get to start? 32. Okay. Guido? I am running away from this <laughs> sapphire golem just as fast as I possibly can. And watch, it's going to go stomp, 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 and be right on top of me again. It can move qu pretty quickly. You're, you're muted. I am? Not you. You said this, this was fortitude? Yeah. Hmm. So. Is that better? 29. That makes it. Okay, so. Uh, you're two, you two are fine for this round. Uh, for visual reference, I want you to picture like this thing is now exerting this enormous pressure in the area, which is what you're resisting, in addition to lightning just shooting out of it and hitting everything within 30 feet. Constantly. Uh, that's passive, so it's going to take a swing. I don't want to die. At... How did I end up Snard. with 58 mana? <laughs> <laughs> Even the dice say to attack Snarg, it's the logical thing to do. However, it rolls a one. Wow. So it hits Emerald. Full <laughs> tilt in the face. Oh, that could actually be really bad. Um, yeah, actually, that could be bad, because it's already empowered once. So it's going to do... That could actually be worse than hitting me. <laughs> that will Does not destroy anybody remember Emerald. what I said my mana was at? I think. Wait. 36. That's you right. hit Emerald for 45. That's what I've written down here. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. As it went over the top of him. Snarg, may I suggest moving? Okay, Emerald Golem is at 9 health. I'll, I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I literally cannot get out of there without them just pounding me into the ground. So. Um, I don't have teleport. Um, well, that. you could move a five-step step away so you're not being touched by all three of them. Right. Well, they, they still can touch me, even if I five-foot step. Damn, I rolled high. But I will. <laughs> Fear Seal takes 25 fire damage. Ah, she's down. She's down. Fear Seal's why down. Is she, why is she down? Because she's frozen. So she... So, she's going to be downed. Anyway, uh, she's not actually downed yet. But she takes 25 fire damage from the nuke. And uh, that's Ruby's turn. And then it's Sapphire's turn. Now, he's done a bunch of stuff. I think he's done Does that all... affect Rikarg any? Mm, not really. Isn't he supposed to, like, protect her? Maybe. Let's see here. So, he's already done that. He's already done his big nuke. He's already done his freeze nuke. He's already done this. Um, he could use his point point blank fatal damage attack. Hmm. Um, 
So he's gonna be like, stop, 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 stop. No! Oh, no. Now this, there's two things you can do to dodge this. First of all, he has to hit you. So what's your AC? Mine. Yeah, this might actually miss. Eleven. Wait, sixteen. Okay, yeah, that totally hits. Um, now you get to do a reflex check. Please be nice to me, dice. Um, hold on. It landed in the blanket on a corner. Shit. That's a ten. No, it's not. That's a six. Six? <laughs> My reflex is a three, and I rolled a three. I told you, you have to be nice with me on reflex checks. All right. So you take a big nuke in the face. <laughs> I hate you. I don't want to die. I'm not supposed to die in this fight, remember? You have you 97 HP. You'll be okay. No. No, I won't. <laughs> I'm rolling really crap. On D2s. You take 57 water no! damage. Say you're fine. With this big geyser of... <laughs> right in your face. Snar gets your turn. <laughs> um, what type of geomancer terrain are we on right now? I assume you're talking the diamond. Huh? It, it actually... It's kind of morphic, given the unusual circumstances here. So if you're targeting diamond, it would be earth at the moment. Um, yes, you are targeting the diamond. If you're targeting you, your, yourselves, um, it would literally be a toss-up between earth or air. I would I would roll. I could roll right now if you want to determine it. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, it would be earth for... Both. For both. So earth no matter. Yeah. Right. This round. This round. See, where in the world is... I do apologize, oh, by the way. Geomancer isn't supposed to be this morphic. This is just kind of a unique circumstance. Well, okay. Is that mountain or cavern? Mm. That's a good point. I'll let you choose. Okay. Because it's morphic. <laughs> so you get either to choose from. I'd just like to remind everyone that Fearness Hill is at one health and frozen in a block of ice with flames yeah. shooting at her. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> Cast Drain on her. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea. I would get one <laughs> half of a health back. You know what's funny is you could and totally... obliterate her in the process. You could totally uh, nibble her to death right now. Just cast you, anything level one. Even if you cast... Even if you roll a one, you still kill her. So I can... The problem is I can't do a big heal because I'm just going to get attacked about the death. <laughs> Um. <laughs> <laughs> There's only three. That get There's only it. three. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. And none of the geomancer things I have right now actually heal the people. Because I'm feeling nice, what? Uh, let's go ahead and say you could also do. Uh, I have to actually look this up. Give me. He is currently a giant flaming thing. If fire would help. Oh, I'm not sure if it would. That's why I'm looking it up. Oh, uh. Not really. Okay, um. There's one other that you might be in, which I'm gonna go ahead and say you that. You can also use planes right now. Okay, so that one would actually work. Uh, that's air, basically. Yeah, uh, planes would actually... planes air? Because it fits in my head. But that doesn't make any sense. Your head is... No, what, what are you saying? Is that his head is just this big, wide-open plane. No, planes <laughs> are earth. Flat <laughs> earth. See, there's all this wind going... Tumbleweed going across. Right. Yeah, there's the tumbleweed going, you know. If I can use plane, then in that case... Planes. Um, warm layers of sunlight bathe the area, filling those that they touch with comfort. And I'll I got a roll D8. So say, see how many of you, them you can roll. <laughs> this could actually potential to suck. <laughs> okay, so you can heal all of you. And I got a roll. Don't have that many D10s. 
I only have two, and my dice suck. You don't want to. He's doing a pretty big heal here. He's doing an 8d10 heal. Ooh. Ooh, let me mark this down so I don't forget. Seventeen. Oh wait, what am I doing? That's uh only one more. Okay. I was about to roll, <laughs> roll, about another... to roll nine instead of seven. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, whatever, you know. All right, three. So there's a total of. Three, um, two. 42 health. Nice. Uh, so Phoenix Hill is like, oh, I feel better in this frozen block of ice while the flames are nuking me. Thank you, Snarg. <laughs> and I'm just going to get away. What did you heal everybody for? I'm sorry, I was 42. laughing. 42. How much? 42. 42. And so you're in there, okay. You take uh, uh, an insignificant amount of damage. Uh, One. Uh, so, yeah, nothing. 42 be 43. Woo. Okay, Fear and is going to live an extra round. Guido! Guido! Smash Fear and Asil! Yeah, it's your Smash turn, her! <laughs> the ice, not her. Yeah. Um, the problem is I'm still affected by that air buff. Hmm? Yeah, he is. So he has to... He has, so. This is this one round... He has to do acrobatics to do anything. You can yep. do this, Guido. It's okay. You're in a giant plate mail. What you need to try to do is to run the opposite direction of Fear and Seal, and you'll roll backwards into her and smash it. Because you're plate mail. <laughs> 15? 15 will make it. Wow. The DC was 15 for that. Okay. I'm amazed. Okay, so so you're saying what I need to do is basically do an attack against Fern Seal to break the ice. Oh, I remember what boss we're fighting. <laughs> this, the diamond golem. Yeah, <laughs> this big old diamond golem. See, he's right no, here. No, 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 no. I've well been done. trying this whole time to figure out earth shell negates air stuff, and yeah. So... Guido, are I you going to go out. ahead and try and break her out? So am I right just do an attack against her to break the ice? Or yeah, do I have to do something? Mechanics-wise, yeah. It would just be a flat attack roll. Standard D&D. Okay. Yeah, pretty much standard D&D. &D. All right. She and... is not in enveloped by a swarm, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> swarms. I yeah, swarms. Would be. Yeah. How does that work? It doesn't. <laughs> swarms means unless you have AoE, you literally cannot kill them. <laughs> Yeah, it pretty much. They would just be taking damage every round because of the swarm, and you'd be attacking them and hitting them, not the swarm. This uh, does not seem good. What'd you get? I didn't see 22. It. 22. Uh, that'll be enough to hit the ice. <laughs> Do you need a damage roll? <laughs> yes, please. Because okay. it does have a uh, durability or whatever it's called. Although I imagine you'll break it with the amount of damage you do. But I just want to make sure. Uh, so 27. That, yeah, so... Okay. Ice shatters. Phoenixil is gasping for breath. Thank you, Guido. Uh, can you get rid of this giant laser beam of flame that's melt melting my flesh while you're at it? Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's literally just... <laughs> it's been burrowing into this entire fight. So, should I... Step and smash. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know if you can interrupt some. I don't think any of us have an interrupt. I think I'll the thing ahead. is, correct me if I'm wrong, it's to stand in front of it and take it. Yeah. That is I... exactly correct. So well, the we problem are... is, none of us can like move without getting attacked about to death. Yeah, Fear Nacil was going to move, but she got frozen, thanks to. Uh... So. So. She could move next round, and, and sw but it has to switch off to someone. Uh, she cannot get it onto the diamond golem without provoking an oppie, which might be deadly at this point. But she could get it around Guido. Actually, no, she couldn't. It would take both of you to Couldn't get it she five-step foot backwards? 
Yes, and then it would keep hitting her. Why? I think it's interrupted only Wouldn't by... Wouldn't it hit the golem? Like, I think it follows until something moves in between. Yeah. Oh. So it follows her. It's been following her, if you've been paying attention. She started over here. No. No. Oh. So yeah, this whole thing... <laughs> on her. I don't know. If she and Guido coordinate, he could, like, five-foot step diagonally. Then she could five-foot step behind him. That is him. true. That is true. So... But that would be... I mean, she'd have to survive two more rounds. <laughs> That's its own <laughs> or tactical not, or, uh, choice. two more um, guys. But. It's its own choice. She could just try to provoke an oppie and, and do an acrobatics roll. And and this is all going on. She's actually asking, you know, I, I can yeah. try and dodge around this thing. I would do Whose that turn thing, is it? So it's that thing gets hard. hard. I know. I know. <laughs> How much did it hurt? Oh, that much. Oh. Oh, my ribs it's hurt. It's within an inch that. of my life. <laughs> Where's the rest? Of, oh, the other inches. Oh, I see it. I found it snoring. Don't worry. There's like charcoal everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> so I could either defib the group. Oh, there's a big sapphire thing in front of me and I can't get away. Um, it's chasing me. Fear Nasil is going to advise saving defib for the moment. Okay. Be until we really need it. We're actually not all that well off at the moment. You're not all that bad off? He's not even phase three. Well, yeah, he is. he's not in phase four or five yet. <laughs> Ouch. Top off, I guess. <clears throat> okay, Top so. Off. So basically, the options are attack the diamond or attack whatever it is that's doing the fire damage to Fear and a Seal. The thought here is you could. Well, I mean, yeah, you could actually go after the fire golem. Attacking it would also disrupt it. I'll go ahead and tell you that. But, um, but the idea here is if you, like, move here. She can move like this on her next hey, round. Hey, hey, Ricarg, Ricarg, uh, Ricarg! I need you to get in front of that. You don't have to. You don't, Ricarg, Ricarg. Fear to seal. Can you mind control Ricarg to make him get in front of it? Oh, fear to seal. What? What? Mind control Ricarg and make him get in front of the okay. fire. Let me roll <laughs> opposed will saves. Oh wow, she rolled a one. <laughs> He rolled a six, but he still wins that. <laughs> Ricard's like, I can't, I can't, I must obey you can't. the lady. You can't. I must obey my master. You wouldn't be helping us by casting anything. You'd be helping us by not getting Fear and Seal nuked with a fire. If I disobey, I must die. Ah. Yeah, new pair of boots. Yeah, I get all this gear. <laughs> he vanishes in an instant. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so moving here, which I believe is what you were saying. Yeah, that, now that will provoke an oppie because of his thing, so if you want to do acrobatics, go for it. Even with my 20-foot well, move? Well, he's got he's got reach, right? He's got 10-foot reach. Okay. But, hang on, let me think about this. Because even with the half move, I'm only reduced to 20. Yeah, you'd still provoke it on that square right there, even with the 20. But you can still do the acrobatics roll to make it. It's not that hard of a DC. You made the last one. You made the last acrobatics. <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> That's not even a 10. All right. Well, the good news I is he hurt. he has to hit you normally. So, so what's your normal AC? 39. Ow. Wow, he didn't make it. I rolled, yeah. I rolled a 3. Um, So... Dang. He does okay. not hit Guido. So you know, right. rawr, as you're going by. <laughs> so... You get the feeling that something just wished past your head. You should roll awareness to see if you spotted it. <laughs> Knowledge uh, awareness. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what actually happened. It just hit his armor. And so now Guido is now deaf. <laughs> it's okay. You don't need to hear to be able to hit things. Uh, so yeah, you... you um, so I... S Still have my second attack. Yeah, go for it. All right. And you are now being Natural 20. in the face with fire. Awesome. All right. Nuke that guy. Push him to phase four. I don't like that face. Stop making that face. What? <laughs> We're going to live... How many phases does he have? Six. Oh. Back here. Okay, so uh, oh, thirty-one. Hey, good. I'm out 31. of range of everybody. Snarg, don't come any closer to me. I'm gonna come. Plus the two piercing. 
Not Why? Then you'll get smashed in the face with stuff. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Okay. He is not in phase four yet. Okay. Good maneuver, though. Uh, that makes it Topaz's turn. So, the automatic thing that happens is he flings a lightning bolt at Guido. Which actually misses. Holy crap. So everyone else takes... Oh, right, I don't roll that twice. Four damage, air damage, so Furnace Hill takes four air damage. Am I in range? No. Okay. Uh, okay, and then he... I'm running out of abilities here, my goodness. He's going to go ahead and do... He's already done that, he's already done that. He's going to go ahead and reapply his lightning rod. So he's going to decide randomly who he's going to apply lightning rod to. Uh, Snarg! He rolls a touch AC. He totally freaking hits you. Unless a tw you have 27 touch AC. Nope. Uh, so you know how you know have the lightning rod. Now... Oh, that's a good idea. And then the Topaz Golem vanishes. Literally just kind of Yay! pulls Beat apart him. in thin air in a burst of electricity. Uh, snark! Run away! Run away! That's what I've been trying to do. <laughs> all right. Run away without getting the shit beat out of you. I've actually five foot stepped all the way around the golem. At this point. So now it's Emerald Golem's turn. Yes, oh. Emerald. <laughs> um, everyone. In a circle. Everyone except Snarg can make a reflex check. <laughs> uh -oh. Try again. Well, that. I fail. Okay. Well, I rolled a wow. 10, but it was rolling off, and I caught it while oh, right. it was I on the do, 10 head. And so I rolled it again because I figured that was cheating, and the next one was a 3. So um, so if you want to be nice, it was a 13. If you don't, it was a 6. Got it. Neither make it. So, um, <laughs> oh, God. Every, uh, Guido, you may take <laughs> a 5-foot step. I'm in brown shit again. To dodge. I, I stressed the may, by the way. But you have made that check. Uh, a insignificant amount of earth damage is done. It's four. I took four damage. Everybody yeah. took four damage. Yeah, and now... Uh, uh, 78. Wait, no, this needs to be brown. It is brown. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> that, was, that was stupid. Um, and uh, Fierna Seal and Z and Snarg, it is reapplied, you know, have an earthen shield uh, defending you. She took... I forgot to put this down. Uh, there we go. And that makes it... Well, Guido, uh, prepared to be smacked in the face with lightning. Furnaceal's turn. Now, yeah. Furnaceal, it's... Okay, so first she takes this damage. Then she takes this damage. Wait, she's not taking fire damage anymore. Guido is. Uh, Guido just five foot stepped out of the way. Uh, yes, but he still got in between it, which means it is... That is true. I'll give that to you, even though I wasn't going to. You said it was attracted to whoever walked in front of it, so it transferred to Guido. He has not had anybody else pass in between it. I can argue it. That was not what I originally intended. Well, that is what you said. So, and instead, you know me, and I will take everything you say literally. So, you need to say what you mean and not what you didn't mean. Well, either way, she takes another four damage. And then she's like, okay, okay. Did she just walk into range of me? Yes. And now. Fear to sail! Stop walking in range of me! I'm trying to run away! It's okay. It's okay. I need to attack this thing. Fire, do! And since she only took a five foot, she can take three attacks. First one misses. Second, second one misses. Can you stop missing with fear to seal? Can I start rolling? Z, it is your turn. Three uh, attacks. Do you know how much damage she does with those fire swords? She oh, outdamages God. all of Apparently you with not. those she fire swords. She has not games. hit with all three of her attacks <laughs> since she got them. I rolled a uh, two, I'm... a two, and a four. I'm moving. And then I'm smashing the uh, golem. Right. Num, num, num. Uh, you do take some damage automatically, which is two for, uh, for starting your turn in the, in the air stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 76 damage. Um, Wrong spot. So. Uh, uh, Might I suggest uh, uh, being slightly more circumspect with your money usage? No. There's just no point in that. Really. Must kill it before I die. Okay. Um, I could have swore Z had a um, artifact or something that increased my mana, or did the health for mana? 
Uh, no. Like we picked no, up a health I have one that for, does the damage. Mana for damage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Which I did the math on is not. It's there when you need to one shot something. Is really what its purpose yes. is. It's there for me to wipe out my mana pool. I thought about doing that. Um, that would have been are... a really bad idea in this fight. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm tapped. Um, it's in phase two. Crap. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> I'll distract you. Know, you, you could you could be the fire person. <laughs> Get in front of the fire beam. Heal me! Heal me! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are you doing? Uh, well, I moved. Yeah. Um, now I'm going to. Um, drain level seven. Okay. Which is just. Hmm. Fourteen. Yeah. Uh, 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 it needs to move there. Okay. Uh, twenty-two. Be nice to me, dice. Oh, you're intensifying it. No, I'm not. You just said twenty-two. I have 22 mana left. Okay. 5, 10, 11, 15, 21, 24. So I get 12 health, which is going to put me at 88. Uh, that will actually push it to phase 4. No. Okay. Guys! Guys, I've got 22 mana left. We need to kill it. Now, the good news is it will only push it to phase four on its turn. Oh, good. It's its turn. So, now it's its turn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Um, <laughs> it is true. It only pushes it onto its return. So, its turn. It, it so absorbs even more energy from the four things. And now, uh, well, automatically... It's weaker because it's getting stronger. That is actually true. Well, okay. Now, uh, everyone automatically takes the air damage, which is now... Except for me, because I'm out of range. I am further away from it now. So, 12 air damage now. Poor Fear Seal. Z, you're going to be the only living member. You and Guido, you're both fine. (laughs) Fear to Seal! Lifeness! What? Lightness, not what? yet, not yet. I need to actually hit this son of a... Um, You're uh, going to die before you manage to hit we it. We are going um, to die. Everyone except for Z has to make a fortitude check or lose their next round. Alright. Because I'm staying out of range. Oh, she made it, thank God. She made it. 30. That makes it. We don't, don't forget to add your d4. This is a pretty easy one. He's a paladin. It, I, I'm not sure you can fail this unless you roll a one. Paladin. A paladin. 22. Yeah, that makes it. Um, and now he is also going to... Uh, in addition to the lightning, now uh, the entire oh, area... Yeah. No, I'm oh, not. I'm frozen. Now the entire area around the golem is on fire in addition to everything else. <laughs> so... Yay! <laughs> that because he's already on fire, so it should make his fire more powerful. Uh, 17 fire damage. Ow. Before anything. I uh, fear he seals it too well. Mm. I don't get any immunities to fire, do I? No, you don't. Okay, so I take that. And he is going to attack fear to seal! <laughs> Die! 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 No, um, he is actually, <laughs> he's going straight for Snark. Of course he is! Actually, wait, wait, no. I, I said I'd start RNGing his aggro, so he can hit Fear to Seal with this. He goes straight for Snorg. I'm waiting okay. for him. No, he will actually be going for Guido. Oh, okay. So, um. Okay. Thank now, goodness. He has to hit your regular C. What was it again, real quick? 39. 39, okay, so I need to roll. I, I have about a 50% chance to make this. I don't make it. He does not hit Guido. Wow. So he gets, By one. <laughs> and he hits the dirt. <laughs> so, so yeah, so actually, no, it hits his armor full tilt, and you just feel this half a ton of rock. This is the second time this has happened. Half a ton of diamond go clang, and now you're super deaf. Because <laughs> it's happened in the same round, basically. It's just better than deaf. It's actually a superpower. <laughs> um, so, uh, Guido, you take some fire damage. Uh, this is uh, just... You said 17, right? Uh, yeah, that was from last thing. Uh, but now it's Ruby's turn. Now, because the oh, flame okay. jet has been reset, 
It's now only doing five fire damage to you. Okay. And oh, well, that that's makes useful it to know. Uh, Sapphire's turn. Now, Sapphire, I knew exactly what Sapphire's doing. I Chasing me, because that's what he's been doing this entire time! Oh, he's, good, he... He's gonna... He can hit everyone with this now, from oh. there. So he is gonna go ahead and make everyone do a reflex check. Well, those have been going oh, all for me tonight. Mine's an eight. Fair. I had to 27. I'm now frozen in a block of ice, I'm quite certain. Widow's dying. No! <laughs> Live. 29. 29, okay. So yeah, Fear Seal and Z, you're both, you've, you're both frozen. Uh, didn't Fear Seal's water bubble already get knocked off because she was frozen in ice? It doesn't go away. You remember me mentioning that? Uh, it's just there until You mentioned the that it stayed there, but you did not say anything about it not going away for being used. That's gotcha. why I asked. It does not go away. You're just... Okay, got it. Well, we're so both... So you two are now uh, ice. frozen in ice. Um... That's Sapphire's turn. Uh, Snarg, you automatically take no damage <laughs> because, you're, because of your SR. Poop. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hate to point this out, but to, to help you out tactically, you could get rid of Z's uh, Aka Vice thanks to Dia. Uh, it might come I, in handy. I'll get, I could. I'll get smashed. No, that's casting. That will provoke obvies. Um, uh, you don't even have defensive casting, do you? Or can you? It, it'd just be a straight concentration, which I am not good at. Yeah, <laughs> so... Um, that's, that's an option. Um, okay. Um, remember, your movement is halved for the purposes of getting mm. over there, if you want to do that. Yeah, still same problem, though. Um. You could just leave me in here. And you could just... Yeah, you could just... Sail out push for the golem, and Fear and a Seal could then um, uh, I can get Fear and a Seal out. I can fire breath Fear and a Seal, heal her, deal damage to the ice block, I'm assuming, at the same time. Yeah. And the golem! And, and the, golem. the golem, and heal Guido. Uh, for the, I, I, this has never come up, but she can actually use her fire swords at range. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we can't cast inside an ice block. No, I'm gonna, but my I'm point is, to... she could get you out of yours, I yes. think. Let me think about oh, this. Oh, yes, yes. I'm going to fire yes, breath. she could just barely do it. If she and on it. break Fear and a Seal out, and heal Guido and damage the Diamond Golem. And right. heal Fear and a Seal. And heal Fear and a Seal. Which is important. She does yes. need it right now. She has two health for our viewers. Yes. All right. right now. Breath of Fire. I'm yeah. actually sitting nice and toasty inside my um, ice bath. Oh. Slowly fuming about being frozen. Fear Seal's like, not again! Not again! <laughs> well, Snark okay. is figuring uh, his damage. Oh, go ahead. 27 fire damage. Okay, that'll break the block. And to, to the golem. And, and then the, the healing golem. portion. So, Arch, what did you say the Dia actually affects? Because... Oh, the ice block. You could Dia the ice block to do damage okay. to it, to break it. That's all. And 26 healing. Okay, so hang on. That was 24 now. So, uh, so Guido, you get back 26. Shit. And then 20. There we go. And that makes it. Uh, well, unless you take a five step step out of the thing that barely affects you. Well, last time it protected me from the big thing, so I might as well just stand in. <laughs> it literally is impossible for that to hit yeah. you until phase five. Yeah, there's to do like damage no problem. There's no purpose to me stepping closer to the fair this year. Yeah, so, so uh, Guido, your turn. I'll get, I'll get you, Fier or, your name is not Fierce. I'll get you, Z. Don't worry, I'm ready. I'm preparing my actionations. It's okay, it's not a trap. I'll have to roll no, acrobatics wait, no, to do it. I'm not in it's a trap mode. I'm in, I love you, fair Maybe I should leave you in there for a bit. <laughs> she needs time to cool off. You're the best. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you, you automatically fail your next roll. Oh. <laughs> All right. I roll not to die. You. <laughs> Damn it. What are you doing, Guido? <clears throat> should I heal or should I attack? Snarg? wasn't listening. 
No, I'm, I'm, I'm typing at something. <laughs> I'd say heal, I guess, because yeah, probably. Unless, or maybe split it up. I mean, I, I can do one of each, but I can only target one per. Where did the yellow thing go? Oh, that's yeah, that's question. right. It disappeared. <laughs> it's okay. Snarg is a lightning rod. That's surely okay. <laughs> it is. But you're not going to like what's going to happen uh, next round, because Topaz has its next action. I don't know. Is there a call? I, I, I guess heal. Do a cure on you and then attack the diamond? Yeah, I guess so. Or uh, do you want me to do a cure on you and a cure on Fear and a Seal? I'd say a cure on you and a cure on Fear and a Seal. Yeah, since it's randomly targeting, actually, it has a chance of smashing her. So. Okay. And she's kind of squishy. It almost did one shot her last round. And she had more health. Yeah. I have successfully typed a stack of my dice in a totem pole. Congrats. Now I smash them all over. Oops. So I'll do two level eight heals then. Okay. Big ol' ones. Now, while you're figuring that out, you didn't break Z out of the, the block, so I know what's going to happen next. Z, you get to do an acrobat, uh, an ath a, a reflex roll. Reflex roll that Can you I automatically roll a something fail. other than reflex? <laughs> well, you automatically fail it. Because oh, you're frozen in a block of ice. ice. Um, so. The good news is the ice is destroyed by this attack. Well! <laughs> oh. Um, am I smushed? So it kind of reforms around you. Yes, I, I determined the t direction. Give me a moment here. Uh, there's only one direction I can go. No, no, no. Uh, actually, you'll be knocked straight south. A total of three squares. So you're uh, here, ironically. <laughs> I rolled for that, I swear. It was straight down, and then it was three squares. Um, and the up the uh, means you take a ton of damage. I don't like it when you have more than one shaky thing in your hand. Okay. Wow, uh, that's actually 40 air damage. Yeah, you're fine. Just and it shoves you out of it uh, south into the earth. And then you take one Ow! earth damage from me. <laughs> Pedal hits you in the face. Yeah, <laughs> after being electrocuted like crazy. So Z's just kind of laying there. Oh, oh I you. had earthy shields on me. Does you did. Help? You did. That will negate it by half. That halves the damage you took. So I you took only took 20 now. So 67. 67. That, why do I keep being not in my block? Who has clicked in my block? Click out of my block. There. I'm in your Anonymous block. Anonymous user number four. Move. <laughs> well, that's not me because I'm logged that, in. Now everyone's going to be in your block. <laughs> um, okay, so... Uh, Great. Okay, um, nobody touch anything. There we go. Okay. <laughs> um, so was that that your heal, Guido? That you just noted yeah. there? Okay, so now there are two of me. There we go. Uh, Seriously, get out of my block. I'm not in your block. There's. A I'm over here. In my See? block. Look, this is me roaming around here. Um, okay, so that was Topaz's turn, and Guido healed, so we're good there. Uh, that makes it Emerald's turn. <laughs> First thing he does. No, actually, I can't do that yet. Not until next round. Damn it! Okay, he's just gonna uh, wail on Snarg here with his big oh. hit. Which has to hit your touchy C, which is 18, which hits by, by one. Oh. So he hits you for... <sighs> nothing. God damn. Uh, 15 total. Earth what damage. type of damage? Earth. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's. It doesn't do anything. Um, he is, however, going to move. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. He's going to stay right there. Nice and snug. 
Uh, that makes it Fearness Seal's turn. Now, Fearness Seal was going to go save Z. But Z's now okay I'm... now. Z's okay. So Fearness Seal's like, alright, I want to hit this guy. I really want to hit this guy. Give me a, give me a, give me a... No, oh, damn, that would have been really funny. Give me okay. an H. Well, she hits twice and one of them's a crit. Okay. Well, good. that's better than not hitting at all and then being frozen in a block of ice. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so that hit's going to be... Seventy-five. Yay! That's the crit, obviously. That pushes him to the next phase on his turn, too. Good, that means I get to smash him first. Um, ow! Got him, the boss. Hmm. And, uh... I didn't mean to smash my brother. It didn't, just, I missed, okay? Uh, he was right there! 32. Why is everybody leaning to the right? Because I'm picking up this. Da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the boss takes one cute damage. <laughs> All right, so Fearness Seal beats the crap out of the boss, and the boss looks like he's about to do something, but and it's he turns around and hits it with everything she's got. That's the sound of a thousand rogues hitting kick. I have twenty-two mana. You can How do one can intensify seven. And how much would that leave me with? Zero. None. This is your tap. Okay, guys, I can tap it and smash it for a lot, maybe. Okay. What else are you going to do? That'll be it. I will run away. <laughs> you could meet shield. Meet you, shield. <laughs> you, you could do the fire thing I mentioned earlier. Yeah, I'm very, very slow. That's true. It would take you... God, it would take you how long to get there? Hang on. One round, two rounds, three... Mm. You can make it in three rounds. Three rounds right. of... <laughs> well, the first thing that I'm going to do is move out of the brown shit. Oh, yeah, you take... How uh, much damage do I take? Four damage. Okay, so I could smash it with everything that I have... Okay, well, look, I know I'm going to do... I know I'm going to do a drain level 7. So, that is 14. What's 22 minus 14? I don't have my math machine. Um, 8. 8. That would leave me with 8. Which means I can knock it with... Eh, okay, fine. Intensify drain. Okay. I'm tapped. I've actually nice made you go nice. oom. My goodness. Oh, Eight. Drink, drink. <laughs> Twelve. Hang on, get the Shadow Priest in there. <laughs> Nineteen. Twenty-four. Thirty. Thirty-four. Thirty-six. So, um... 72. So, yes. And I take add 36 to my health. No, you intensified it. Oh, never mind. You're right. You're I right. drained. Uh, 88 damage total. Uh, do you add my 16? That's what the 88 is. So I take, I get 44 health. Yeah. Uh, which is... I'm back at max. And can I make a quick request? Once this round is over, we take a quick bio. You can do it right now. Cause just it's, do the bio. Take a little it's while. The boss's, <laughs> it's the boss's turn next. Okay. So and the boss just hit uh, the phase four. So <laughs> I think phase four. No, this is phase five, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, this yeah. Is phase five. This is phase five. Yeah, he's about to hit phase five, where he's going to start doing everything every round. <laughs> so now, in addition to, well, I'll describe it when Guido's back. Nothing happens. Uh, bunnies start bouncing around. There's some, like, people running up going, yay! And, there's, and your gun actually shoots bubbles instead of deathly fire. It's great. So, is my earthy shield gone? Um, um, no. You retain the earth shield, you retain the water bubble thing. You are wet and surrounded by earth. Okay. And running away. And running away into the fire. Slowly. 
That's so good. if I take a full round of move action, where does that... Um, you, if you go in a straight line, you could go a full six... Because I can't do anything but move. If you go in a straight line, you can go a full six spaces, despite the debuff. Uh, now remember, diagonals are weird. Every so other diagonal is double. Go to M14. Well, here, let me just do it. Because that would be an extra five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty... You could go to O. I don't 13. want to get inside the field of doom. But it would be so doomy. No. Okay. Yes, you could get. Well, hang on. Five, if I am 10, avoiding 15, 20, the field 20, of doom, 20. where can I go? You could go to L or. No, no, you couldn't. You could go to M14 or L15. Uh, I don't want to go on the purple shit. So I'm going here next round. Mm. You back, Guido? Then we're running in between Guido and the fire. Because I can't do anything, so I might as well nuke fire. <laughs> okay. So now, in addition to there being lightning shooting out from the diamond golem, and this kind of omnipresent thing, and it's all on fire, it's also now a blizzard on top of all of that. So how much damage did I take? <laughs> <laughs> well, hang on. So everyone takes seven air. Uh, oh, no, no. This is empowered twice. Except for me, I'm out of range. So everyone takes... Uh, Nine air. Um, and you all have to do forts, except for Z, of course. Um, ten fire. I would like to demoralize Ricard. Done. <laughs> he, you succeed. He is very demoralized. And because he is you said not ten fire? At all. Yes. And uh, 18 water. So 18, 28. Okay. Okay, I'll just use the calculator. I have no shame. I don't have the calculator in easy reach. It's too difficult. Hit the calculator on your computer. That's My old keyboard difficult. had a calculator button. Too difficult. Just just use the calculator built into Excel. Still too difficult. Can't do it. <laughs> Must use the, the my pathetic brain. Um, so that's the automatic stuff. Then... Except for me, I'm still out of range, right? Except for you, yes, you're still out of range. <laughs> so the diamond golem. Because I'm like, inch. inch um, so you said fortitude inch. save. Uh, yes, thirty six. Okay, you're fine. Uh, Twenty nine. You're fine. Fearnesil fails it. Of course she does. Can I help her? Can I assist Fearnesil? So I can't do anything else. Can I assist Fearnesil in her fortitude save? No. Um. What Can I deceive do? Fear to Seal into thinking that she didn't get hit? Yes. Fear to Seal, you did not get hit by that. Okay. Ugh. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, it is going to do... I am trying to find a way to make myself useful. Um, yeah, okay. Everyone can make uh, attack of opportunities on the Diamond Golem, including Fear to Seal. Okay. What about me? Can I hit it? Yes. With my pearl? It was a two. That does not hit. <laughs> Fear to still managed to hit it, though. Uh, this is good. Because yeah, she still has her fire axes. 34. Things. Yep. 34 will... Will hit. Sorry. I, don't know yeah, I hope so. <laughs> okay. okay. Guido? 25. Uh, 25 will not hit. Wow. Um, so... yep, no, no, don't climb on top of that. Stop! Hang on, cat problems. Stop! Where was I? Yes. Uh, the damage. 39. 39 fire. Okay. Now the diamond golem is going to do what I like to call a whirling charge. So everyone, it's going to swing at everyone and it's going to move right about there. While swirling in the air. So it's going to make an attack on everyone. <laughs> swirl, 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 swirl. Um, does a 40... Why does the golem chase Yes. How much oh. does it hit me for? Uh, hang on. D does a 44 hit your AC, he says. Uh. So anyways, let's see how much damage it does. <laughs> and it's empowered by all four of them now. So this is the damage it will do to all of you. However, I rolled utter crap. There's three twos in this. 
Oh, bummer. I know. I, um, I feel for you, man. I just feel for you so hard. 21. Physical. Oh, okay. So, plunk. I have damage reduction, I think. If you have DR, it lowers it by that much. I think I do. I do. I have two. Yay. So you take How 19. How much did it hit me for? 21. So I take 19. Yes. So it goes and just spins over there, nailing all of you as it goes. What's 106 um, minus 19? I'm sure that you can figure it out. Now, <laughs> uh, Guido, you okay. take some damage. 95. Which we're up to round two of that particular round of damage. So you take uh, 13 fire. And then Sapphire, having just done that thing, is like, you know what? I don't feel like I'm doing enough. I need to, like, one-shot someone. No! So it's going to randomly target someone. Not fear to seal. No, it's you. Um, okay. Well, I have the most health. So Sapphire is now there. <laughs> and uh, it has to hit you. I could roll a one. In fact, I'm almost positive I have to hit a one. Uh, what's your AC again? 16. I think. I don't remember. Yeah, I have to actually roll a one to miss you. Yes, I did, I did not roll a one. So. Snarks! It's going to do its big hit on you. Oh, wow. Uh, that's actually nowhere near as much as I was thinking. Um, 32 oh, water damage. I rolled real crap on that. Big old ice spike in your face. 63. Ow! Snarg, you take nothing! Hey! <laughs> Very good. Um, you're there. Right. Uh, my target I'll, has left. I'll go ahead and tell you flat out, if you're moving at all, you're provoking an oppie. Yeah. I don't see a whole lot of... Oops. I mean, you could acrobatics your way out of it. Right. Uh, actually, what's your move? My move right now... Well, my base move is a 50, so I'm at a 25 now. You can't quite reach the golem, then. But if I charge... That's true. That's true. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say you can't do the acrobatics if you're charging. It'll just auto-hit. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. I mean, it'll... it'll... Oh, no's, but I'm just ruling that out. He, he misses you. Uh, he actually he rolls a 1. Okay. <laughs> I roll the 1. So. All right. We'll, we'll, still, keep, we'll still keep with power attack for it. Z, are you threatening him? <laughs> huh? Yes. You ha oh, she's threatening him? Yes. I'm threatening who? I just want to know for flanking purposes. <laughs> yeah, so. I'd like to hit you with my pearl. Please. You know what? We're ting, ting, ting. We're, <laughs> we're just going to go. We're going to go all out. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, well, kind of. No, I'd, actually, I'd say things are getting desperate, but you guys are doing fine by my estimation. Actually, that's, that's probably not good because I need to use that later. Heal. So I'm not going to rage yet. <laughs> not going to rage. No, okay. Because that means I can't heal. <laughs> all right. So power attack four, leaping charge, all that good stuff. And you probably hit with all your bonuses to hit that. Uh. Let's uh, say 29 hit. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Same number. Oh. Ten. Uh, six. Fifty-eight fire damage. Okay. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. All right, uh, Guido. Okay, so I'm still at half move, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, so that... You could also charge and make it. Yeah, I'm going to have to. The good news is I'm on the other side, so I'm flanking. That's true. Guido has a ton of hit to hit, though. And he doesn't have power attack, so... It'd be pretty hard for him to miss. Are you still threatening the diamond golem, sis? Yes. He is distracted. <laughs> So his first attack. Ah, oh, that's true. That, that's true. Um, 
Do I still get both attacks, even with the charge, or is it reduced to just the one attack? Uh, charge is one attack because it's a full round action. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you get the move double. That's the bonus. Ooh, nice. And a plus two to hit when you're charging. I really doubt he'd miss this, unless he rolls a one. So the charge gives me a 21 plus um, 11. So okay. 32. Yeah, that'll hit. Okay. I guess I, I don't know why you think you have more to hit them out. Twenty nine. Okay. Uh, plus two piercing. Yes. So. So okay. All right. That makes it. Okay. So Snarg, you're a lightning rod. Yep. Ah! <laughs> You'll be fine. Yeah. So everyone I'm gets hit. Thinking more about fear to seal because she's in range. I think. She is. She would have been in range no matter what. And now the good news is I roll crap. So if you're gonna, everyone takes two air damage. Oh my god, are you kidding me? No. <laughs> How many times has Fear to Seal been at one health? More than once. Fear to Seal, run the other way and heal. And then Topaz is going to vanish. Again. Uh, that makes it Emerald's turn. Emerald's getting sick of not really doing much. <laughs> Come hit me again. It's at one health. <laughs> So Emerald, what is Emerald going to do? He could do that or that. Well, he's not going to hit Fear and a Seal. Should I do A or B? C. He's not going to hit Fear and a Seal. These are your options. I'll let you guys pick. A or B? A. 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 All right, he's going to hit Fear and a Seal. No! <laughs> he stomps up. If he rolls a one, I'm going to laugh. He's doing his big hit on her, too. Nope, he didn't roll a one. So she is totally down. I'm not even going to roll the damage. It's his big hit. So okay. uh, he stomps right here, smashes her in the face. Ew. She is downed. Uh, I suppose I should keep track of her negative just for the hell of it to see if she dies. That would be funny, wouldn't it? No, um, it would not. It would be bad. Okay, I rolled crap. So the good news is she's only at... Negative 20 right now. So, that leads to us. Um, Fear to Seal's turn! She gets to roll she, to see if she can get up. Yes, she gets one roll. Right here. Nope. So, Z. I have you... to stay here. I was gonna say, you can take a five foot step, but that's it. Unless you want to provoke an oppie and roll acrobatics to make it. Um. It's up to you. I have no idea what your acrobatics is, orator. My acrobatics is a four. Perfect. Mm. You got me. <laughs> no. <laughs> You could take a swing at it. <laughs> I don't that think even have, my pearl doesn't even have a damage to It would be just a d4 plus your strength mod, because it would be unarmed, basically. Well, I, 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 there's no way I can make it through. It's, it's fast to me. Yeah, there's... You, you literally cannot do... If you crit it, you can hit it, and then the crit damage will not puncture its dr. Exactly. I'll just tell so, you flat. Um... You can take a five foot step. Maintain flanking. Five foot step. Take a five foot step. So. Yes. Okay. Oh, he hits me instead. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and now you should totally use an orator ability on Snarg and demoralize I him. I have demoralize. You. Uh, I have not gained any more abilities. I have one level in orator. You should use it in like reverse psychology on Fearna Seal. She's dead. Well, no, she might like subconsciously, you know, be like, uh, and, you know, "Okay, Nicole fine, I will demoralize." You suck at being dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she auto fails. I don't and know that. what it does. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> exactly. Diamond's turn. Diamond just got pushed into his final phase, phase Yay. six. We so, no damage. 
First thing that happens is all of his abilities now hit the entire room instead of just a 30 foot range. That's okay. Uh, Doesn't actually change anything at the moment. The problem is they're at full strength, which means we are rolling this to determine their damage. Yay. For all, for full, for both of them. No, for all three of them, excuse me. I'm just going to multiply this by three. Are these all the same hit? Uh, no. These are three hits of 37. Vito's down. Yeah. And I'm down. And Snarg's down. Three hits of 37 put all of us down. Yes! I win! Seriously? Yes, seriously. We, okay. Snark has 62, I have 63, Guido has 28. Well, that is acceptable, because I already planned for this. Thanks. Yeah, that was 111 damage. Mm-hmm. You so, suck! What? You guys what were What is 63 close. minus 111? I think I'm actually almost dead. Well, you're not dead. I'm at negative 83. Guido is almost dead. Now, the moment that damage goes out and just nukes the whole room, which it's Ricard, too, by the way, um, not that you guys care, I'm sure, but Ricard just got hit for a hundred something. Um, it also hits all the other golems. I think Fear and Seal is actually Fear and Seal is actually dead. No, no, no. Wait, just hear <laughs> me out. The other golems vanish. Not that you guys are awake to see this. And after some time has passed, you realize that you're you're like slowly blinking your eyes open, like all four of you. And you're lying on the ground. You're in tremendous pain. You're all at one health. Huh? And you are all in psychotic levels of pain. And it's just... Uh, uh, and you look up, and the diamond golem is gone. And Ricarg is desperately trying to first aid his way to get you guys to health. <laughs> what um, the hell happened, Ricarg? No, uh, no, say it in character. That's what she says. No, 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 no. What the hell happened, Ricard? Oh, um, yeah. Is Ascension still active? <laughs> Wait, ten minutes. Yeah, it is. It okay. hasn't been that long. So you're still Ascension. So Ricard's, like, not entirely certain <laughs> what to He's do. like, I, maybe if I do this? I goes, hang on. Ah, he breathes fire over him. <laughs> ah! No. Healing for. <laughs> now, Ricarg looks panicked, okay? Uh, specifically, to, to go ahead and make the scene proper, Ricarg is actually right there. To make it more accurate. Over top of Fear and a Seal? Yeah, he has been first aiding her. 28. Um, sis, you may roll uh, Deception at a disadvantage. Well, I rolled a 7, so that's 40. So, roll again. I rolled a 7. That's a 40. <laughs> wow. So Ricard My second was a 15. So Ricard says, but, truthfully, um, I just... Okay, guys, I just barely got you off. The, 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 the thing said they're coming, and we've got to go right now. And there's a portal up here that was not there previously. We've got to go right now. And he looks, he looks absolutely panicked. Then let's go. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. And he, and he helps, he'll, he'll help everyone up to their feet. Come on, come on. Because, you know, everyone's kind of injured. Okay. Then, Did then, he say then. who? No. <laughs> He's just like, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Right no, I'm, I'm asking Ricarg. Did the golem say who? The shadow. So the fight yeah. broke the shield? That Gollum was the one maintaining it. Don't you remember what he said at the beginning? Yeah, but we didn't kill the Gollum, so why is but he not the maintaining not it anymore? But not here anymore. I, I'm not saying I'm not leaving. Let's I'm just, just go. <laughs> I was going to say, are you just leaving? Because Rikarik has portal. already left. <laughs> no, He's I'm, through I'm the I'm having... dragging. I'm, I'm like with Snarg, <laughs> and we're kind of leaning on each other, and... And Guido's just kind of standing there. He's like, no, Dude, no. The like, and then Guido gets eaten by the shot. <laughs> I was trying to speak in character as I'm leaving the room. Come on. I, 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 I'm, I'm just making fun. Okay, so yeah, you guys shamble your way out through the portal. This goes away. You are now no longer there. In fact, you're in some place incredibly dark, 
to the point where none of you, except if you have dark vision or something similar, I have can actually see. I have dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> I will use my other sword. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, with, that has the yeah. torch effect. Okay. <laughs> I have true sight. I can see just fine. It's dark in here. Okay. So, suck. <laughs> so Ricard's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, and you know, so is Fear Nasil, and then Guido pulls out his his torch sword, and you realize. You're in uh, what is obviously some kind of psionic facility. Looks completely untouched for once. I'm just going to go ahead and give this to you to get the descriptor out of the way. This place looks like, uh, unlike the places you've visited where Garolin has been and it's been warped and changed, unlike the place you just came from, which had a, which was also changed but very orderly, very you know secularly, uh, this place just looks inert. In fact, there's a, lot of, there's a ton of dust, and the whole place looks like it hasn't been touched in forever. Now, Ricarg is leaning against the wall, gasping for breath. Oh my god. Oh, and the portal closes behind you. <laughs> That's actually really important. <laughs> uh, Snarg, you have the uh, use psionic technology ability, right? Uh, awareness roll. Knowledge psionics. Yeah, he, he, he can do that, yeah. Uh, actually, so can you, Guido, if memory serves. I'm almost positive you got that too. The the psionic usage thing. Did I? Okay. Pretty sure. I'll, I'll just say no you way. did, even if you didn't. Because, yeah. The only one who didn't is her. Uh, got a 23 knowledge. Um, well, what are you trying to learn? What are you well, I'm to? just trying to learn what all this stuff does that's around here. All right. Um, the first thing you notice is some kind of obvious panel, which is just a universal control module of some kind, an MCU. And, uh, you know, it, it looks really in. It looks really old. It hasn't been repaired or upkeeped in forever. But you think that with some care, you could get it running. Okay. Uh, you, you or Fearness Heal could could both try to get this thing running. Okay. Um, and um, the is my uh, movement buff gone now. Yes, everything has been wiped away. And there's uh, an obvious doorway just uh, past it. It's currently sealed shut and there's no, like, handle on it. It's one of the usual sonic doors which slide. So it would take some considerable effort or or just breaking down the door, smashing it in to get it open. Unless you, of course, get the MCU working. Right. Well, uh, Star will start champing. Actually, hang on. He's going to heal himself while he's going over there. <laughs> uh, oh, Fear oh. Actually, Fearness Seal is going to be like, hang on, guys. Guys, here. Group hug. Group hug. Get together, get together. Oh, and she's gonna she's gonna blow her her daily, her big ass. He's still in a six, so she's like hugs, gump. Actually, that is now wiped. Oh, aw. So is Ricard's. Well, that's so good because he this, doesn't really fight anymore. Now, as I've described before, the the leaves heal does a ton of heal. In fact, at this point, it does eight d eight per round for eight rounds. Oh, okay, full health, everybody. Pretty sure that full health, everybody. I'm still that, would, that would also wipe out. away any major wounds that were just incurred by the <laughs> of, of doom. Sorry if I smell like charcoal. Yeah, you're still. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's see if you can't crack open this panel and not literally, <laughs> and see what what it's all about. So uh, the psionic use doing... ability would be what. Uh, it, it it's actually a new skill called knowledge psionics. Uh, if mm -hmm. I didn't give it to you. Uh, Snarg, what is yours at? Mine's at a plus eight. So just flat give yourself knowledge psionics eight. Okay, what's it? Is, is there uh, an ability it's based off of, like intelligence or anything? Uh, oh, it's or, an int. It's a knowledge. It's yeah, it a regular knowledge thing. I've just been putting points into it, like any knowledge. Yeah, it's int. Okay. It, it's it's a unusual skill because you have to unlock it through story to access it. But once you do, you can. Start raising it as if, as if it's a class skill. So just give myself eight, and I can yeah. raise it from there. Okay. Yeah. I, I apologize if I, I I really do remember you getting that like way way back when you were on the uh, the Sonic Airship. But okay, uh, well, I I thought well, there was something like that, but I. Out. I'm going to uh, awareness. Okay. It's like all I can do right now. Do it up. Never mind. All right, <laughs> you're. It's really dark. I have true sight. It's really dark. Actually, I'm not sure tr True Sight works for darkness. Uh, it's illusions and stuff. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll look that up real quick. 
Well, I mean, Gwyneth yeah, has his torch. Really but... Explain to me. Uh, I you have can. Torch oh too. no. Okay, you can see through normal and magical darkness. So there, there you go. go. You can oh, okay. see what's going on. I actually didn't know that. I didn't either. I thought it was just illusion piercing. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Anyway, so yeah. Um, oh, gives true sight. Yeah. There's my rope gives true sight. Um, Did so, we get any loot? Well, that's kind of funny you mentioned that. Um, because when you uh, roll awareness, whatever you get. I got a one. Well, that's still like 12 or something, right? It's still over 10. Uh, yeah. So you notice that there are four it's a 20, chests actually. in this room. Four. Uh, yep. One of them is made of ruby. One of them <laughs> is made of emerald. One of them is made of topaz. And one of them is made of that other color. Sapphire. Sapphire. And they're just sitting there. Uh, I'm going to um, spellcraft them again to see if they're alive still. I Go think ahead. it was spellcraft that I did last time mm -hmm. to see if they were alive uh, or not. That's a 24. Uh, 24 tells you that they are not. Uh, they are inert. Uh, near as you can tell, any spark they ever had was probably sapped out of them by the diamond golem. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, just for safe measure, ask Ricard to take a look at them, too, and deception roll against him. Okay, well, no, I'm going to roleplay this properly. So Ricard is just leaning there. He hasn't moved since you guys got in here, and he's like, he looks shell-shocked. He's like, okay. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let me, let me get up here. Uh, what do you want me to look at again, Z? The chests, so chests. that they don't come alive again. Right, right. Let me... Um... Rolls a one. Um... Well, I got a 39. Well, near as I can tell, uh, these things are completely inert. And he rolls a deception, and you believe him. So, I, I'm i guessing that last big explosion really got rid of him or something. <sighs> okay, I'm going to uh, open the chests, I suppose. There's nothing in them. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, there's not really much else to describe in this room. It's actually quite small, but the you walls suck, by the way. are you made. Lied. The walls are made of solid pyreal, and um, there's that door and there's that panel. That really is it. Well, I'm examining the panel to see what I can learn from that. Well, knowledge psionics to see if you can get it working. Right. Uh, Twenty-six for me for the okay. knowledge. Well, I, I need to know who's doing it, because you can fail oh. and, and screw it up, so decide. Well, um, I've already rolled mine, so I know. <laughs> uh, I mean, Z, can you, I you assist, don't, you can don't I know assist Guido? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you assist. That's fine. All right. So okay. you, you you probably got the assist DC, I'm assuming? Oh, yeah. Okay, so that would make yours what? Uh, what minus 28. Two. Okay. So, yeah, that will actually succeed. Um, now, Guido, you, you get this thing running. It takes it takes a bit of effort. In fact, it takes quite a bit of effort. It, you know, you weren't sure you were going to get it at first. But you're like, and Snarg's like, hang on, let me help out. Like, okay, there we go. And uh, you find out... Uh, actually, that's a good point, considering where you are. Um, you feel something that feels familiar, and at the same time very poisonous to you. Uh, and it, it takes you a moment to realize what you're feeling is the elemental energies of the ley line of life which are coursing through this place very powerfully. Uh, very crudely, too, I might add. Hmm. And as you analyze the thing, you start to realize that this is, this is deep in the earth, uh, buried uh, pretty close to where the life elemental temple actually is. And this place is almost physically intersecting the life ley line, as close as it could be, basically. Uh, which is why this whole place is just pulsing, and why it's kind of crude, as opposed to the lascelles, which were very carefully crafted and engineered and all that fun stuff. This place was just, plunk, like just shoving the shovel into the river. And um, this place was uh, designed to be one of the fail-safe uh, mechanisms of which you have now heard referenced more than once, based off of the designs that were stolen by Vasmora for the Gold Lord. And... This place uh, has a facility. Uh, you can get the door open just fine. You have access to it. You can turn on the lights, so to speak. And uh, you go ahead and open the door. And, and this, there's basically nothing else here other than some log entries, which I'll cover uh, next session, actually. And the next room, which contains approximately 50 individuals who are all 
inside little capsules. Um. Which probably look familiar by now. Can I anything to tell if they're still alive? You may healing check. I don't want to do that. Somebody else have a healing check that's better than mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, mine's a four. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty um, sure Guido is the one with the big old healing. Yeah. I got a 15. So yeah. Plus 15. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, plus your D4. Right, yeah. So that's a 34. Nice, yeah. So... You can tell that these people are, in fact, alive. It was actually very difficult to tell, especially given the level of stasis that they are in. Um, you can also tell, thanks to such a colossally high roll, uh, all things considered, that these people are basically only one step away from being life elementals. You have never seen someone that is this infused with life elemental energy other than the one life elemental you've actually encountered before. Hmm. What about, um, remember when... Um, Javan went all weird on us. What uh, what element was that? Air. Is this similar in Actually, light yes. as the other was to air? Very similar, yes. Now these people, there's no like physical manifestations on them. They look perfectly normal, but thanks to his heel check and his and his knowledge with that, uh, he can tell these people are brimming with the element of life. Uh, and doing so, uh, this is, I'm only doing this for flavor, Guido, I swear, but you actually take four damage just being near these people. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm guessing life energy. Yeah. It's now okay. toxic to you. Yeah, it's, it's, it is so overwhelming in this area that it's just, and it literally like makes you seize up a bit and you're just, okay, and you just back out of the room. Like, okay, okay. They're alive. <laughs> well, good. Do I... Yeah. Do I actually know it's the life energy that's um, damaging? Probably. You said that he felt that the life energy was toxic to him. It was familiar and toxic. That's true. I Poisonous. Did. I'll go ahead and give it to you. Yeah, no no enterals, no okay. wizards. You just recognize that the life energy is... And this is the first time you've actually encountered it since uh, your decision, if right. you recall. That's, that's why I was wondering if I would recognize that that's what was causing it, so... Um... That's weird. You did choose to have the opposite yes. of life stuck in you. But nobody else knows that. That's true. Only Guido knows that. Yeah, because I got walked away. <laughs> <laughs> now, while this is happening, Fierna Seal has also wandered to the room, and Guido, I'm assuming you say but that they're no, alive. No, I know, because whenever I looked at him, he looked not. He looked not. Uh, you, you, that is true, but you still don't know what happened with him in his private little... Oh. But yeah, I know he's not different. life anymore at all because I could see a little bit of life in him before. That's true. That's true. And now I can't see anything. Um, but that that could just be from the desolation. No, it couldn't. It, it could be from a number of things is the uh, point. Okay. Uh, Fearnesil has wandered into the room, and I assume, Guido, you have told everyone that they are yeah. alive. Yeah. Fearnesil is actually uh, standing with her hands over on, you know, on the glass, uh, crying just slightly because this is actually the first time she's seen any living members of her race, uh, ever. <laughs> and, uh, she's just like, and then she looks around and she starts to get a little panicky and she's like, why hasn't Gerlin killed these people? Well, uh, the Golem said that he was protecting this place. He said that, he said that Gerlin couldn't get here for your seal. Because of the shadow. Yeah. He couldn't get here because of fear. The only thing Garolin fears is the shadow. Well, now wait. I thought we were on Erlin Lassell, right? That yeah. was air. Oh. This is life, right? That's what Guido... I mean, I, I can kind of feel it, too, a little bit. So if we're under the life ley line, as I described to Guido earlier... Maybe he doesn't know this place exists? Hmm. That'd be highly unlikely, but... I, d I don't want to put these people in danger. Can Could you use the console? Can we get them out? Is that possible? Uh, let me Maybe. check on that. It, then I'll check on that. <laughs> I'll roll it up, either one of you. Okay. I'll assist you this time. Alright. The DC for assisting is only 15. It's really easy to hit. 
I and, won't. And assist. you get your D4 on top of that, so... Well, I might as well assist Guido, then, because, like, you can get higher max. That's true. So. Okay, so... I assist. I mean, I got that. Okay, so 20, plus two. 24. Okay, 24 is enough for you to determine uh, that these pods were designed very crudely and very quickly. They were built in under four days. They were not designed to be to let them out. They do have one function. You can turn them off, which will kill the people inside. But that is attached to the emergency protocol, which you already know what that is. Killing them makes the explosions of stuff. Yes, killing them will disrupt the life ley line. Fear and still we can't. Why not? So... Ask Guido. <laughs> I think this facility was designed to create elementals. Okay, this is what I'm fearing to steal. I forgot, I should have the blue hair. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't okay. had that for a couple of sessions. <laughs> to make elementals? That's These... an interesting thought. What if shadow shadows are immune to elementals? Because we didn't hear anything about that, right? In fact, actually, if memory serves, we haven't heard anything about elementals with scions at all. I mean, they work with all everything else. Does anyone remember anything like that? Uh... <laughs> you haven't encountered any elementals. No. <laughs> I don't know. Have we? No. Uh, you've only encountered two. No, not really. Oh, wait. I still have my little baby elementals with me. Fear and a seal. Try to mind control one. Okay. <laughs> Z, you're dancing like a chicken. And she's really concentrating. Fear to seal, that wasn't what I told you oh, to oh, get! Oh, sorry, sorry. Why does it default to the chicken dance? Sorry. It's, it, you put it in my head, I can't get it out now. You know, I'm suddenly thinking go? of the song, the hamster dance. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so that music with the chicken dance. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry on National Anthem. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. Reminder. It is about 10. Yeah, I know. Um, so, okay. Uh, well, why don't we go ahead and wrap up there, because I've got some other things to exposit about. So we'll go okay. ahead and give the... Uh, 